Click, click, click. Um, testing, testing. my mic so low. What's up guys in cats? Uh, let's add a little bit of game. X Benedict Cumberbunds, welcome. Micah Marin, welcome. Uh, we'll start bricks on YouTube, welcome. Let's do this. <laughs> we got this set over here. I'm finally gonna build it. Got a bright ass light over here. <sighs> what? How long is this stream gonna be? Everybody like if you haven't already. I'm gonna post. Oh, the chat is green today. I'm gonna attack everyone. Sorry. Live right now. And I'll post it in advertising. Evan Reynolds, welcome. Okay, that's done. Um, what are we going to talk about this stream? Uh, let's do this. Okay, I'm ready. Assassin King, welcome. Now we'll do a a little Instagram story, and then we're done. The camera is Lord of the Bricks, Mox, and Sub Motions. Welcome. Okay, I'm almost done. Almost done. Add a little story fast. live streaming right now I'll talk to you guys in a minute Storm Chicken, welcome to the stream. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's go. Let me find a knife. Cut a knife. So we're doing an earlier stream this time. Oh, there's a cat. Vettel Tuna, welcome. Why is this cat delayed? Okay. So we got a nice box. It's way bigger than I thought. Um, this one has like tape on it. It's gonna be a very nice display piece. Uh, hello, 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 guys. Okay. And we got plenty of bags. 
god damn. That's a lot of pieces. Yeet. Oh, actually a very minimal amount of seekers. Way less than I thought. Let's see if we get more than 12 people in the stream. That would be nice. Hey, Francis, what's up, dude? Thanks for uh, talking to us uh, in the stream, uh, like the day before yesterday. What's up, man? Yeah, so uh, this is a way earlier stream than normal. And on a Saturday, I had I, I had to work today, unfortunately. Okay, I'm not gonna put all these bags on my table. No way. But Francis. Bag one. Okay, I <laughs> actually have no space to put all these bags. Brick flyer smoothie, welcome. Okay. All these bags are going on my bed. It's gonna take a while. Let's get back two and three in here as well. Dude, this is gonna be way bigger than I thought it was. That would be, um, yeah. We're already at a bunch of viewers, I'm so grateful. So let's do this. I I don't know if the camera is at a good angle, but so actually a super thick manual. Let's see what's in the back. It's actually weird. Like they used to do the um, you know the new Lego Star Wars game advertisements, but now now they don't do it, even though it's delayed. Damn. Let's go, guys. No problem, no brick flyer. It's uh, it's all good. At least you're now you're here now, so that's what counts. These lights might be a little too bright. Sapa, uh, welcome. Changing the light colors. What if I change it to warm, warm yellow? Okay, doesn't matter. Let's go. And we do get a brick separator. Okay, I'm gonna have to put these back somewhere. You haven't been here in a while, yeah. Okay, you think, how are you doing though, Axie? I'm doing fine. Unfortunately, I had to work on a on a Saturday, which is dumb and stupid. So this my weekend only just started now, and I'm building this set, which is awesome. I uh, recommend these are like three. I don't know if you guys know the candy uh, Ferrero Rogers. Those are these hazelnut chocolates um, candies, and they have like these lids and these plastic, uh, you know, plastic pins kind of for them. They're like those gold wrapped candy balls, and they have a bunch of. I just use the lids as trays for pieces like like this, and then I just put the pieces in there. Let me just fix some something with the music. Oh damn. Um quickly. Uh 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 uh, 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 uh. I 
one second guys Thank you guys can hear the music Hey, we here hit 12 viewers. Thank you guys. This is gonna be a great stream. Gonna have a, a lot of fun. Uh, I used to use uh, transparent plastic cups to hold the parts. Oh yeah, that's also good. Cyan part remove removers are great. Those are actually teal parts. I'm pretty sure. They're great. Yes, they are. Um, I, I'll have to, I'm gonna have to put the chat right in front of me instead of to the side. I think that's better. On a screen in front of me. I'm not gonna show the code of my of the, the iPad. I still have my interceptor uh, uh, PDF on there. Um, working on a salary, bro. I hope it wasn't too exhausting. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, fortunately, I only had to work uh, four hours instead of you know eight hours, and there were a lot of uh, a lot of customers, so. You guys can ask me any question as well if you want to. Um, ice cream containers for smaller parts. Yeah, you know those candy, those candy containers do come in handy though. Um, oh, this is actually also my first time getting a Star Lord and getting his uh, <coughs> his custom blasters. Teal is my second favorite color. Yeah, I see that. This waffle waffle save color as well. I'm actually gonna open my window since it's pretty heavy in here. I'm super glad you guys are here. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Let's go guys. Uh, what did you guys think of the latest Bad Batch episode? We can talk about that. For me it was... Um, I'm getting a little bit of sick about um, the constant cameos in every episode. Teal, sand green, off green. Yeah, m mine are olive green. Dark tan, and haven't decided on the, the other one. So here we have my man Star Lord. Let me just do this. Looks awesome. Like, awesome that they include the dual mold legs. Like, that always makes the figure so much better in every way. I kind of prefer dual mold legs uh, more than print legs, to be honest. Um, I didn't really like it, says uh, Francis. Yeah, me neither. So, uh, yeah. Wait, why am I looking next to my s next to again? I have to look. S uh, what can I do here? Okay. Uh, might skip the rest of the show, not gonna lie. Oof. What, you didn't like it because... I didn't like it because of the Martesis. There's like... Oh! <laughs> Let's go to this random planet to do this random mission. Oh, guess who we, who we uh, uh, bumped into? Oh, they're just the characters from the latest season, dude. In this massive galaxy. 
totally by chance. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, dang, that's sad. Uh, the Star Lord is awesome, but the hair choice is weird. I like it. I mean, he has like a curl going on. Uh, washing hands before Lego builds, hell yeah. You know, I mean, especially when you touch black uh, pieces, they they get some, they get dirty easily. Yeah, this uh, this build is gonna take a bit, so we're gonna go. A little faster than normally. I could also go maybe for a different camera angle. I'm gonna try to do something here. A little more close, close by shot. Pretty good, I'd say. Okay. Um, the uh, they did did they have to bring in Rafa though? Trace is fi relatively fine. Rafa though, bro, that lady has no relax. Don't tell that to to Jay. He will kill you. Uh, yes, always wash your hands. So once again, I'll probably you know go in the Discord uh, later. That that was a fun time yesterday. But it's pretty early in uh, the US right now. In the USA. Some of these lights are just too bright. My face is also like super bright because of it. be wild and you just woke up two hours ago oh no my day is, is like in the middle okay um, kind of want to watch a movie dude what movie would i watch maybe i want to maybe watch a uh, spider-man far from home kind of want to watch that again i think i've only watched it once so that's where the rewatch what if we did a a far from home watch party on the discord that would be pretty cool but overall i pretty much like the newest episode and and um wait, uh, and even though Ralph and trace aren't my favorite characters i like seeing them and still around in the galaxy and trying to survive yeah like i like you know that they're still living and stuff but i just don't like that they have to be there they don't have don't they don't need to be there they can they can be there but they don't need to ever I don't I don't need every episode to be something familiar. I want new you no know, new plot lines, new new characters, new stuff going on. So that watch party maybe at ten my time. So that would be Six, maybe in four hours, maybe just after the build. We'll see. And it's on it's on Netflix, so most of you guys can watch it. You don't even need to talk. I mean, like, you can be in the voice chat, but if like you don't need to talk, you can just you know you like just I like watching movies just knowing that other people are watching as well. So. It's just, you know, you're watching the same thing at the same time and, you know, everybody has different reactions or whatsoever. So, it's pretty nice. The first ever watch party. Um, okay. 
pressing the bricks down. Did I miss a part? No, I didn't. Why is my camera, does my camera look bad? Wait, can I just take the highest quality? What is, what is the highest quality right now? 1080p, nice. Yeah, it's, it's on uh, in, on Netflix here, uh, anyways. In uh, Belgium. Yeah, it might not be in America, but is it? Maybe it's on. I mean, I think maybe it's on Disney Plus. Otherwise, you sh you just have to be a pirate. You just have to be. Hondo for a second. Dude, I think this is already to a great start. This build some underside detail. Hell yeah! Oh my, orange and sand and sand blue are such a good uh, color combination. With Dave, will not come change uh, exactly. Hey, look, it's a, uh, it's the new piece that. Wait. I have to actually be able to see the camera. It's the new seat piece in the in the uh, space shuttle. This is actually a pretty good camera angle, I, I might say, if I say so myself. Um, <laughs> just the, the pirate flag. I, I'm a head out and watch far from home, boys. <laughs> oh no. The way you should get... Yeah, you can also just get a VPN, that's true. Like, VPNs seem like, oh no, you're doing a bad thing, but it's pretty normal life right now. I think you just have to think there's a f maybe there's a free one. I don't know. I'm just a pirate. I just download them. They're pretty easy to just download any movie. With a specific program I use, but I'll only say that on the Discord. Oh no, that guy's going. Bye, dude. This piece in red. Haven't seen that before. All the boils are leaving me. Why do you have to leave? I hear people in the background in the, the garden. Are movie theaters open where I'm at? I'm pretty sure they're not, unfortunately. But they might be soon. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. You can just search that up pretty quickly. Oh, I'm, I'm like, I'm craving going to a. Uh, to another one, to a, to a show, and I mean just to a theater in general. Um, I want to watch uh, thing it thing. I want to watch Black Widow in theaters. I think they might they might be. Wait, why does it say I went there in February? No shot. Oh. <laughs> the last time I went, it was in February 2020. So an other, uh, already a last year I went to the to, to the movies. That sucks.
Dude, time goes by fast, to be honest. In our movie theater is open in America, though. Do you guys hear those people in the background? They're like in some backyard from my neighbors, I think. Hope it's not too loud. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna join the VC later when there's some more uh, people in there, so we can talk about random stuff. But first, I'll, I'll first you know first thing first, I'm gonna pa finish back one first. Basic this basically like the intro intro of the stream, you know. Damn, some purple pieces, nice. They're not open. I mean, they, they probably might be soon though. How late is it for you guys? Because here it is 6 p.m. Where the hell are you guys? Brick separators. Actually, like, I have a bunch of brick separators, but I have no clue, like, how I have so many, I don't know which sets they came in, like I totally forgot. Have you guys, also have you guys uh, used uh, instructions just on a screen? I've used that for the the uh, helmet sets. The, uh, yeah, I know guys, a helmet set, sue me. Um, the Darth Vader helmet set, I just used my screen so I could do it at my desk so I had more place building let's get some different music drum and bass Steel, steel studs, nice. actually funny like I might I look like small because of my chair but like the headrest is super high up so I kind of look like s super small in this chair it's funny And we're also already on the first base of this part. There it is. I I'm, I hear the doorbell. <laughs> Yo, I'm back. Oh no, the chat is above. The chat is too big. 
The class has gone to grown too powerful. I don't know what I'm doing with my cat layout. Today we're going to play Minecraft, what? Like an online server. Okay, I might have to close my window. That's dangerous, don't do that again. I don't know what I did. What did I do? Let's, let's test my audio. Okay, my music is super, super low. That's dangerous. Why, why, why is it so early in America, dude? Look at these big plates, damn. Hey, we got my boy, my boy, my boy, my boy. Bert Bender in the chat who doesn't like steaks. Ban him. Hello there. I, let, let me do it right. Hello there. Nah, I can't do it. I'm not a prequel meme, memer. What's up, dude? Wait, where is that from? The hello dash o hell dash o. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome, dude. Glad you're here. Sand blue parts, yes. How I I uh, we can also talk about a lot of stuff. We can talk about bad backs today. We can talk about the new uh, leaks finally. Like we've been waiting for that for a while, and they just instantly leaked all of them. And like I would think we would get like you know get some leaks in there, like uh, maybe the gauntlet one at a time. But we got the full full catalog, so that's that's great. So it looks like sand green is gonna be the floor, uh, most of the floor color. I want to watch Far From Home today. Morgan Flood, welcome dude. Don't think I've seen you here, welcome to the stream. Hope you'll stick around and talk about some nonsense with us. Since uh, later I'll be probably going to the voice chat. Um, oh, good one dude. Hello, hello, oh, oh, oh. It's because of my room is in the attic. Is burning hot up here so it's here uh there what i can't read so it hit so it there is a hell i'm sure this is what it feels like just get a fan dude that's my that's my brick bender just response just get a fan just get some airco but I, I know what you mean dude uh you know fun fact actually um Whenever I made my ATRT video, actually was uh, I was sweating my balls off in that video. It was so hot last summer. It was very hot. Yeah, I was confused. Like it there, but it was if. So you saved it. You have a fan. Aha. Uh -huh. That is true. 
Hello. I thought you were you were referencing you uh you, you were living in a in a uh, attic so it was echoing. Hey, we got a a life leak, dude. We got a meek head uh leak right now. A Lego meek, you know, from uh the friend uh Cork's friends. That's pretty cool. So we're getting that new ad card set. Hell yeah. You just saw it on the Discord. New leaks. Keep up the good work with Trikanda. Thank you. It means a lot, man. Thank you so much. You know, a new update. I still have to build. So I'm gonna do a lot of landscaping today. Get a lot of. Uh, I'll probably. Actually, I'll probably work on the tree line and get that finished. That's probably doable. So I'm probably gonna work all night on that. Got a bunch of pieces, still don't have enough dark tan though. I'm gonna need some more dark tan. I'm probably gonna sculpt some of my last Naboo building I have over. So I need some dark tan. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, Canal Canal Welcome dude, I, I assume you are from Brazil Shout out to all the Brazilian viewers I'm telling you, Big Bender, you need to buy the set. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> Big Bender just posted that. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I'm gonna just not move my my screen at all. I'm gonna you know, keep it there. It's just a three. It's actually 3D coming out of my screen. So we're not moving anything. Almost on bit back one. Good one, bring dinner. The Benatar like matches up with the iPad. It's funny. Welcome everyone to the stream. Dude, I love interiors in ships so much. No, just uh, makes it so cool. I mean, this is what the interior right now is looking like. Infinity Saga sets are the best, yes they are. I mean, it's if I had to compare Infinity Saga sets with the Star Wars wave, I'd say the Star Wars wave in general is better. Um, but the the Benatar is definitely the best set in the, the whole, all the boat waves. And we're on to back two. The tattoo is. Iron Giant, if you search it up, it's a good movie, it's like a very old animated movie, and I like that movie a lot. Oh, back to what's right in front of me, I didn't notice. Um, I can show you guys, I guess. It's Iron Giant. Tattoos are great. I don't know how normalized tattoos are in, in uh, the USA. Like here it's pretty normal to have one. Stardust fig is awesome though. I need to get a bunch of 
more Marvel figs that I don't have. I, sh I wish uh, Drax came in this set since he's such an expensive figure. Where do you get pieces in bulk? Uh, I mostly buy everything on Birklink. Like I actually have maybe about once I bought a uh, I bought some pieces specific pieces on like a second hand store but other from that I only buy pieces from Bricklink and then uh, you can also buy pieces on the Lego store but then you have to compare which one is cheaper on the Lego store and which one is cheaper on uh, in uh, on Bricklink and you just have to compare prices and like when I whenever I started using Bricklink I was like so confused and like had no clue what I was doing but then um, you know just you just get used to it and now it's like so easy to just maneuver uh, through the website very easy now um, good taste uh, I appreciate nice thank you playlist we got our third shitari I mean I don't I don't really need a shitari army but I'd rather have some out, um, some outriders you gotta go uh, bye dude thanks for like, hopping and watching the stream I mean hopping to the stream I guess thank you very much So we got an oversized gun uh, by dude Morgan by dude get an oversized gun for the Shitari oh no I moved it okay on to the next part get all the pieces Dude, whoever like parts out these uh, parts to sell has some nice pieces because there's definitely a lot of useful pieces in these. Looking like a boat. Yeah, it kind of is. I mean, it is a hull, I guess, so it kind of is like a boat. Ingot pieces are also very nice. Dude, I don't know, like, I post that I'm going live on my Instagram story, but no no one actually, like, turns up, man, I'm sad. Why, dude? Just watch my stream for a second. But I'm also, like, that just makes uh, me a lot more grateful for the people that stick around. They're the real boyos. I'm gonna have to. Um, I mean, I mean, all Lego spaceships look, uh, sets look like a boat in the first, in the early stages. 
until you add the wings, obviously. So the last set I need to build after this one is the gauntlet, but it's not really a place set, so it's whatever. Okay, my phone is like it gets so hot from the being uh, the webcam when I feel like lower all the the brightness and whatever. Oh, what did I do? Does it work? Okay. Does everything work? Camera is still working. Yep. Lego spaceships. Actually, like never been interested in a original Lego space. Like the uh, blue with yellow and gray. Dark Stormtrooper, welcome. You know, you made it to the stream. Welcome. We're on back two of like 14 or something. This piece is also really cool. This, uh, this like waffle used this in a, in a spaceship not too long ago. Pretty cool. Like, I don't know even know what that color is called. I don't. I think I don't even have those pieces. Also, all oh, that the leak of the the Marvel What If set is also really cool. I love those those uh, the Iron like the Hulkbuster mech with the awesome color combinations with teal, red, and dark orange. Looks so good. They did uh, really well on that uh, set. I hope we get some more, you know, like weird sets like that. Some more uh, odd sets, like mechs that turn into cars. Let's see, I don't know how many bags, let's see. So the last bag is a stand, pretty sure. I'm not gonna check all the bags for how many bags. I mean, I can count them, I guess. Oh, I saw it. Uh, yeah, I'll just count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, think, I think 14. The January wave, you, damn, you're uh, you're already there, you're already wanting to to see the next leak. Just hope they have battle packs, man, I, I'm, I'm very new to actually, like, actively, actively, you know, keeping up with all the leaks and all the sets, so I want to be prepared and get my armies quick. And build giant Clone Wars mocks and what, whatever. So, I'm, I'm, I'm also like, I know I did a kind of Clone Wars mock, you know, and I did Naboo, but I want to make a giant cannon battle from the show. But I'll probably have to rewatch it first, though. So be, be hyped for a future Clone Wars mock. With David's, uh, not David's, Dave's um, ATR, uh, AT, AT, ATT, I mean, I'm sorry, the same one that uh, Last Break Winner has. So I'm gonna definitely gonna build that one because that's just, that's one of my favorite mocks for sure. How much did that cost, by the way? Brick Bender, how much did the, uh, your ATTE cost? I wonder, because I definitely want that one. That is a wonderful mock. And I don't think anyone has done better. The Dave, the, the German designer. I mean, if you don't know him, I don't know what. Like, if you're a Lego fan, if you don't know his designs. Uh, Battle packs aren't dead Lego set in the interview. They said that will come sometime in 2022. I hope so. They better be. I don't know why they, why they would just, you know. It would be weird for them to get rid of. It would be a very bad business uh, business decision. Maybe they just had a little break. Maybe they had a break to see the data and they just wanted to see the stats. 
know how how well it sold and whatever. Pay two hundred. I mean, I'm willing to pay two hundred for that for sure. It's a massive set. Yeah, I, I don't know why they didn't have one this year, but maybe they're dumb. I mean, they did like I don't know what we're expecting, guys. What are we? Uh, Tuscan Productions, welcome, dude. Like, what are we expecting from the company that made video, guys, and and the Mario sets? Come on, man. We have too high of hope. We, our hopes are way too high. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I made that Instagram poll. A lot of people seem to like the official one more. <laughs> But it wasn't like I should probably do it, done the like the fire thing where you slide it instead of the weak uh, one or either. But one is like a this like just a custom for display and one is like a just an official figure. So I don't know why I don't know why I made that poll. That was pretty dumb of myself. I think so. I just wanted to, you know, I, I saw that picture in my camera also. It's also a very bad picture of my, uh, of the, the bo I made. I don't know, it was very bad lighting. Um, let's see. Um, no, 200 on top of pieces are already had, plus instruction, so probably like 320. I mean, I'd rather play, uh, pay... 320 on that and instead of a I already know like a weird looking gunship we're getting Yeah, like Like your your company is Lego, right? Everybody loves Lego figures. Everybody likes Mario. Oh, let's just make a total ugly fat blocky Mario why there's so many characters they do could do in just normal lego style they even did looney tunes just make mario figures like i i'm not even a mario fan and i would get mario figures do you guys agree or not Dude, that's so cool. They have like these circular things as a in interior design. Looks great. So inside creebling. Dude, look at these huge bricks though. Dude, I'm gonna have this on my most important shelf right in front of me. It's gonna be great. Um, let's see. I mean, yours looks much better, but I'd rather have the Lego minifig since it's just much more Lego-like and fits better with all the minifigures. Yeah, I get that, but that was like the other, like that wasn't my point with whenever I made my figure. Like I just wanted to have a very over, like maybe over detailed figure. Just not for mocks or anything. I'm gonna. I won't use that in mocks, but I mean, like it has 3D effects, which the other fig doesn't have. So that's like uh, it shouldn't really be comparable. Like customs, you can two customs next to each other. You can easily compare and just say, oh yeah, that painting work is better. That sculpting work is better. And with official figs, you can like compare the printing, I guess in color combinations so uh, I should probably just delete that sorry to be honest or just let it die in 24 hours doesn't really matter uh, well gold pieces nice um, if they made a Mario I would just want the powder yeah i get that maybe i would want the yoshi um one time i wanted a mario set i'm sorry for my sins uh dude i'm sorry but i'm gonna have to ban you i'm sorry just kidding
kidding, by the way. Uh, daily fix. Welcome to stream. Overall, I would say that your figure is way better besides the helmet. Damn, so a lot of guys don't really like the helmet I made. Maybe like, the only thing I don't like about my helmet is like, the visor are a little too vertical. I spent a lot of time on that figure. A lot of uh, quarantine time. So, I mean, uh, is it better? It's the best figure I've made so far, I think. I mean, the only one I've done is uh, Homelander and a little paint work on the uh, on, uh, uh, war machine. But it's whatever. The, the new official one looks great. I don't know if, I'll, if I'm going to make a, a Mando mock. Maybe. Like, there isn't really anything in Season 2 or 1 I would make a mock of, to be honest. Is it weird that I'm like, I only really like making big battles? That's like my thing with mocks, like I just like making big battles. Some technique pieces. Um, the helmet of Bo-Katan on the LEGO version is uh, inaccurate. I can post an image on the end of code. Yeah, do, do that. That would be nice. It also baffles me that they don't at least um, don't at least have one minifig, uh, minifig themed D2C. I don't, I'm not sure. Is that direct to customer? I think. With all the characters to go alongside with other sets they make. F1 minifig themed D2C. Uh, oh yeah, like a poly bag. Please do so, yeah, for sure. I'll pull up, pull up the Discord. Just post it in a general. Someone post that meek leak in my in my Discord. So, last thing on like the custom minifig, I'm gonna do like a actual one-to-one -one comparison with the two figures. Not like which one is better, but just like just wanna see what, what I uh, was able to make to what Lego was uh, making. Just a little one, to, uh, like just right next to each other. Just wanted to do that. Not not like a competition or anything. Just a little video. Dude, I have to come clean, guys. I haven't not made anything on Wakanda yet, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna work hard today on it. Oh, you you put it in leaks. That's also fine. Yeah, the helmet mold is very outdated. Like they made a new helmet for. Um, um, they made a new helmet for Car Saxon. But they keep doing the other ones, just the normal old one. No, D2 sets are the big display sets they release, like the Daily Bugle. I'm, I'm talking about a big piece of castle set with all the major characters. Oh yeah, that would be nice. W what does D2 stand for? I thought it was direct to consumers or something like that. Or oh, that's another Lego term. I think direct to consumers is also a Lego term. Don't know where it's used though. Might be done. Can you play Bob Kill? It's a banger. I don't know what that is. But I'll see. I mean, I'm. I don't know if I, I can even listen to that since um, I'm listening to copyright fear music. Purple parts. Mm. Does anyone in the chat have the daily bugle? I'm not. I'm definitely not getting it. I do not have space. Six B. 
pieces. Um. Controversial opinion, let's go. Uh, I don't think they need to make a new mold for the Mando helmets. I like the in-universe shapes only very ever so slightly between the helmets and the Lego mold works on all of them. They they, they do, I, I see what, what you're saying for sure. But, I mean, like the, the molds are fine, but for example the Mandalorian, you know Mando has like a very slim visor. But then on the Lego version, he has like the the thick visor that is a good design on Boba Fett since it's accurate. But on the printing could be better for sure on the helmets. For example, uh, like mostly for Mando, and they also did a very bad color, I, I, in my opinion. Like dark, like dark uh, gunmetal gray is definitely not the light silver uh, Beskar color, but. At least they changed it. It's probably the probably like the old the first Mando figure that we got had that helmet since they probably just got it from concept art. That's mostly the case. The, the concept art designs. Yeah, they don't look. Uh, they don't get enough uh, pictures. Big chunk. Uh, yeah, but I don't think they need to make a new mold for every Mando helmet. Like, the Lego me think should be hyper realistic. Yeah, like, all together, the normal Mando helmets are fine. Just, I mean, I'm just basically fine. I'm, I'm not that bothered by it, but. But it is, like, printing can always just be different. All I want is just a fig with. Leg printing and arm printing. What, what more can I ask for? I mean, it just like makes the figure so much better. Just a little bit printing instead of a plain, plain legs and plain arms. I mean, arms are whatever, but the legs should at least have printing. Definitely, since uh, most Lego figures right now have very nice, you know, torso printing. And then when they have just plain legs, it's like, you know, it's like confuses uh, the look of the figure. Like, super realistic, I mean, like, I mean, super detailed, and then no detail at all. Nice, sand blue plates time. Dude, that, 
the I just thought of it like the Sanctuary City is so dumb. Like, like you can make the argument, oh yeah, it's for it's a kid for kids, but like how can a kid play with a Sanctuary too? Sit like, come on, such a bad set. Oh, we got orange ingot pieces. Hell yeah. <sighs> yeah man I'm I'm not super uh, a lot of people just leave the stream man can't do anything about it maybe maybe it's because you know my streams aren't uh, good maybe I don't know or I'm just I, my streams are just at random times okay. already a panel to the side looks pretty good but you know, you, the, the people that stay are the homies, you know? That's how you know you're a homie. I mean, like, if I had to choose a Benatar or a Milano, I would probably ch uh, choose for the Milano though, since, you know, I, it's more the actual Guardian, sh their, their original ship. All these people in the NA have having have got their vaccine. I, like, why? Uh, I want my mine as fast as possible so I can travel. guys know Horizon Zero Dawn Just because I thought it was lame because I thought the dinosaurs just existed but then someone explained it to me and then I thought oh that's that's pretty cool that's pretty cool apocalypse story kinda I'm just making up conversation guys um oh no i missed plates oh there go here back tres or troa uh lemonade or limeade i have never tried limeade don't even know what that is i mean i know lime but I'd say lemonade, I'm guessing. Scoop. So it's actually we're getting actually a bunch of of Marvel movies. This year we're getting four Marvel movies. So we're getting Black Widow, Shang Chi, Spider Man, and Eternals, like that's actually pretty much pretty a lot of a lot of movies. I mean, they, they weren't all supposed to come out, but I'm excited. Hopefully, I can see them in the theaters. A hey, tiny front, you made it, man! Welcome. We're on back three. Just started back three. Message retracted. What did you say?
yo yo to you he, uh, like I don't really care about Shang Chi um, I mean I, I'm guessing Black Widow would be a fun movie but whatever <laughs> like okay Black Widow movie is gonna be kinda good but it's not the, the thing I'm most excited for and we're also getting Loki next year, next week so I'll, I'll be down to, you know, keep up with that. Probably watch it with my parents, which is funny. Spider-Man is going to be nice. I'm, I'm actually going to watch Spider-Man Far From Home today. Maybe on a watch party on the Discord. I haven't decided yet. We're going to do a Far From Home watch party. I think that will be fun. Obviously, it's a little bit too late, but you know, it it already it was already filmed. They're not gonna just give up on it. But it's just gonna be like an action-packed movie. Not it's not gonna be too special. Dribbling the details inside. Lego hasn't done that that much. Dribbling. Can we talk about bad bag? The, the set is not many fixed scale. It's yeah, you could say it's half UCS. But it's decently sized. It's like bigger than any just normal playset. I mean if it was UCS uh, Mythic scale would be massive and a lot more expensive but I think this is like a very nice size I, w I wish uh, Lego Star Wars would do that like a high like a half size you know half UCS size just basically just a giant playset that you can use in mocks since this this vehicle is obviously usable in mocks since most uh, Lego Star Wars vehicles are not mock use, um, mock worthy. I always, I always say mock worthy. And not a lot of Lego sets are mock worthy. I'd say the Republic fighter tank is mock worthy. Um, the the AT AT from 2020 is pretty mock worthy. What else? Um, the two thousand dirt. 2013 gunship is definitely mock worthy. You need a minifix skill one. Yeah. You're not gonna have space, man. You're gonna need a another table in the middle of your room. It has a face, you say. What are we talking about? Um, Oh my god, that's funny. I mean, a lot. Uh, all of them are if you're called David. Yeah, man, I find that so weird. Like, you're making this detailed, big ass mock, and then you're using a ugly ass playset. You have space. That's good to know. Just buy the pieces. That's easy. And if you don't have the money, just get the money.
just work for hours a day. Oh no, yeah it does. Okay, I'm confused. These the eyes? Is that what you're saying? Oh, it has a smile. <laughs> this is a smile. I see now. Uh, sorry, I can that I can't watch for that long. Gotta do work. See you later, di uh, dude. You're starting your first job on Monday. Nice. And you're not making money. You're making money for Lego. That's what I'm doing at least. And it's all worth it. Yeah man, I hope it goes well. I, I think I saw you mention sometime that you, d you did an interview, I think. I'm not sure though. Yeah man, good luck with that for sure. I mean, like, it's actually pretty weird, like whenever I started my job, I was like so conflicted, I was like Do I really want to do this? Do I want to do this? For like two weeks or something and like I, like, I was like, ah, I don't want to work here, whatever And then after a while, it's, you just get used to it and it doesn't really matter what you're doing Yes, I'm making bricks, man, I'm making bricks The bricks are inevitable. They will get here either way. Because, like, what's better? Like, spending money on alcohol and, and pissing it out? Or getting bricks that you can use forever? Tell me. Dude, alcohol is so overrated. I mean, I guess most of you guys can't even drink. Sorry about that. Except Brickbender. I'm gonna use most of the money for Lego and I'm gonna give some money to my family. Oh, that's awesome to hear, man. That's great. That's a very nice thing of you to do. But yeah, definitely spend some more money. Uh, money on Lego. Because, you know, you need to treat yourself as well. But I would use your money, like, wisely. Like, buy pieces that you're going to be able to reuse a lot. So that's um, that's why I'm, like, very happy. Uh, where, um, where I'm buying, like, I'm buying pieces that... For, oh my god, like, I'm mumbling so much. Uh, I'm buying pieces for what all the p pieces I'm buying for Wakanda are very re reusable, like dark tan, dark tan. Uh, what, what am I saying? Dark tan, olive green, sand green. You know, all those pieces are gonna be able, uh, very nice for you know Star Wars mocks and all the mocks to come. Dude, I can fit my hands in here. stuck I don't think they include unfortunately they didn't include the cassette player I think that would be nice maybe it's not in the Benatar oh no the cassette player is not in the Benatar because he got the he got the mp3 player from Yondu so and it got destroyed the cassette player so wise words yes they are i'm gonna buy the rest of the clone Wars black series wave and save the summer sets yeah the summer sets are definitely gonna buy those like i'm probably like i saw cult said that he's gonna bricklink uh the boba fit of the slave one set and I actually might do that since 
I don't need that slave one set and I don't need the mando set so uh, the mando fix so I might just buy the fix separately since I might have to do that a little bit more if I if I want to buy a set purely for the minifigures I'd rather like spend 10 euros on a minifigure instead of like 60 on the set which I don't really want so I'm gonna do that uh, try that to do that a little more you know actually save some money where I can save money and not just do day one purchase like I want all the other sets in the Star Wars wave except for the slave one I don't want because I already have a slave one definitely want the light cruiser architons uh, the transport I'm gonna buy a bunch of since I need more stormtroopers and that's an easy way to get them together with a mortar trooper that I also really want and it has a lot of great pieces which are very useful for mocks. Yeah, I, I agree. The Arkansas looks doesn't look the best. Actually, don't know what the price is for that one. I don't really know it. Same with the ITT. I'm not sure what that is. The Arkansas looks alright, but if they added more tiles, or like those those plates with like tile like a tiled off part and a bladed part that uh, would have looked a lot better god damn it the Drexler Marauder Is that the troop transport? Wait, let me think. I think so. Okay, panels. Okay, it is a true planet. Okay, nice. Yeah, it looks pretty rough. Like, I don't know if I'll keep that one built, to be honest. <sighs> Getting tired for some reason. Designing vehicles seems so intricate and difficult. You, know? so many angles and studs that need to go to different places. That's gonna be hard whenever I'm gonna design my my uh, vehicles. There's so many like techniques I'm not gonna think of in the moment.
goes. Looks like a chunky purse. It's flying. What did I think of the last BAP episode? I wasn't really a fan of it. I watched it during the lunch break. I was kind of disappointed. It was like a one-off mission again. With something at, uh, like a cliffhanger at the end. And, uh, like the, I don't, I didn't need to see those characters again. Like, I just, like, like, um, I don't really mind, I guess, seeing them, but it's just the, the case of we're going to this random planet with a random mission. And all of a sudden, we come up, we meet characters we've already seen. That's just, like, there's so much they can do with new characters and make us, uh, like, surprise us in that way not surprise us with the characters we seen last year but like I mean I still like look I like I like seeing the world I like seeing what happens but like this episode in in a particularly not that big of a fan What is the font in the top left? It's a good font. Um, it's called Good Times. Good Times. Um, yeah, the show, the show was very promising in the first episodes, and then it just became more boring. Like, like they're showing stuff that they think we want to see. Like, they think we want to see. Ahsoka's droid. They think they want to see Rafa and, and uh, characters like we all uh, we've already seen. Like, oh yeah, you, you guys want to meet these characters we're seeing. Like, no, we want to see more of the Empire. We, we want to see how the Empire turns and whatever. We want to see how clones change um, into stormtroopers. Like, we want to see more of the things that happening behind the scenes we don't want to see some random ass mission um yeah the first three episodes are pretty good yeah for sure they can do better than this but maybe it'll pick up who knows like like we've seen all trailer footage except for the parts with Rex in it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't want to see characters like why would I want to see a character show up for them to just leave at the end of the episode? Like what? Like this is an ongoing story. Like a perspective story out of a perspective out of the bad batch, but then we just see those returning characters just leave and like okay yeah then we just feel like okay whatever i guess they were here Like, when was the last episode they even short 
short crosshair. That's like two or three episodes ago. Like I'm not really against you know going on an adventure kind of story, but it didn't really mean anything. Like it, it all was just for you know the hologram at the end, which is also gonna be a returning character. Okay, on to the next. Episode 3, yeah. Isn't that funny, like, they ended the last, you know, the episode before this week's, they showed Fennec, and uh, they said, said her name, and now they showed another hologram, who's probably also gonna be someone we know. Like, oh my god. Make a new character, please. Okay, uh, back f on to back four. <laughs> yeah, exactly, tiny friends. That didn't get me excited at all, like. I saw the I saw the hologram and it's gonna be like, oh no, it's like people are gonna like speculate. For me, it was like, oh yeah, it's just gonna be a character we know, and I'll be super surprised, guys. I mean, if you're happy, like, I'm I'm happy if people are happy, but I'm just wanting to see something new, dude. Jay Jay changed me, like. I see Jay's arguments, but I still watch the show, like, I still want to see what happens. I, I don't mind getting 20 minutes out of my day to watch it. So that's where I differ from Jay, is I actually watch it, and even though if I don't enjoy it, I'll watch it once, like, 20 minutes are not that much. Um, yeah, out of all the people, why the more dead sisters, like... I thought we were done with that, good, let's move on, but no. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like the voice acting on those sisters, they're, they're, those voices are annoying to me. Don't, don't trick me. Yeah, who, who wanted them to come back? I bet Jay did, uh, did want that. Yeah, they're very annoying. Um, favorite part of the build so far? Probably the plating, like the orange, putting the orange stuff on the on the frame. I think that's pretty enjoyable. Like, you know, it, then you actually see it coming together.
the I think the wing. Yeah, I'm building the wing. I think. Any of uh, like I'm not really super hyped. I mean, um, I'm kind of curious what they'll do with the Kenobi show, but like I'm not like you know jumping up and down because of it. I'm whatever about it. I mean, I like the my first expe expectations when I saw the set were 10 out of 10. So we'll see how my rating is at the end. But you know, just from looking at the set, I'd say 10 out of 10 since I love you know seeing big Lego ships with a lot of detail and in an interior. It's very uh, I like interiors a lot. Hey, Brick Bender, welcome back, dude. We can talk. These two of these. And welcome. How do you guys build like do you first get all the pieces that they say you need and then build like I'm doing I'm just getting all the pieces firstly or do you just you know grab and, and place if you haven't already I would uh, I uh, would appreciate if you left a like. I think it helps. I don't know if it, what it actually does when you like. Are you gonna buy a bugle? No, I'm not. Sorry. <laughs> I I think I'm like me and Brickbender have like the same opinion on it. Like if it was dark tan or tan with red, it would look a lot of be a lot better than gray uh, in my opinion. And um, it's very. I mean, it is expensive, obviously, but I rather pay those that three hundred on a lot of very useful pieces that I can use. Nice art, dark stormtrooper. Very nice. Very nice. Wait, what? How do you get 34, uh, 43 dislikes? That must be like a troll server or something. I think that that is what that is. Probably like some dumbass trolls on Discord like raided your channel or something. That's so dumb. Sorry about that. I would not like it. Uh, that would definitely suck if like you got a bunch of dislikes out of nowhere. Oh, you uh, grab and place brick banner. I mean, it's whatever. Like Jay, he builds. Just um, what? Wait, what? How did Jay build? He did. He. It doesn't even look like at the parts that he needs. He just looks at only looks at the. At the uh, you know main drawing and looks at what pieces are new on the on the render. Damn! I wish I had that many dislikes. Why would you? Why would you have uh, one dislike? That's confusing. Wait, what? Did I do something wrong? Wait, I said a hundred dislikes. I do a face reveal. Okay. So you asked for it. That makes more sense. I was like, I was like saying a bunch of shit. Wait, what the? I'm already streaming one hour forty, goddamn. 
the hell? I only have bag five or something. Um, how is the build far? It's pretty going pretty well. Welcome back, Storm Chicken and Dark Stormtrooper. That's the Axie way. Yeah, yeah, like the day before tomorrow, I did. I streamed five hours. I think that was my longest stream as well. But I'm probably gonna join the Discord voice call in a bit. Voice call. Okay, I did something wrong. No way. I see what. Tiny front, you get like a bunch of viewers on your stream, like way more than me. That's, oh, oh my god, I dropped this thing. Help me, brick separator. You're not doing your job. Top 10 Lego builds, yes. Uh, how do I get this off? their dislikes alt I can go in VC later okay bro what the how do I get this piece off here oh, like this Finally, I got it. That's a dick move, tiny. Okay. Damn, this is a very thick wing. Something wrong again. Come on. Oh, no, I see. I'll join the Discord, you know. Oh, why not? I'll need to 
charge my headphones. The car sex figure from the gun. Uh, it looks great. Hey, look at my boy, Brickbinder. Welcome. Sorry, I had to. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> okay. Am I loud enough? Yeah. So I see uh, you're posting uh, you're posting Horizon Zero Dawn pictures till people play it. Yeah. I mean, why not? Yeah, like you've definitely kind of sold me on the game. But will I play it? We'll see. Oh, you should. You definitely should. Like, I, mean, I, I played like five minutes or ten minutes. No, I mean, the, the beginning of the game can feel a bit slow, but it's definitely gonna pick up later on. Like, mm -hmm. once you're out of the first like tutorial area. But the the one that's coming that that's just DLC, right? No, no, that's a new game. Okay, then I'll play that one. But you have to know the story of the previous. One. Yeah, but I I I seen a full playthrough, but I don't don't remember everything though. Oh, I yeah. do remember the ending yeah. fights. Do you have a PlayStation? Uh, my dad uses it. It's not on PC, right? Um, well, the first game is, but the sequel isn't gonna be. Oh, oh no, it's only on PS5. Yeah. And PS4. Yeah, like how... How are PS5 still not, like, available everywhere? They aren't. That's the problem. Yeah, why? Why aren't they? Yeah, but... Yeah, but they should have definitely, like, prepared more or... Yeah. Found something to prevent people from using bots to buy all of them, but oh, is that what's happening? Like scalpers? Yeah, yeah. Yikes! They basically use bots to circumvent all the security measures, like proving ID, or you can only buy so and so many, you know. Mm -hmm. Yikes! And then people is sell my them mic working now? Yes, it is. Okay, yes. good. I kind of want a yeah. PS5, but there's not that many games to play on it. I still need to play Spider-Man. And there was like, and there was like an interview with a scalper, you know, and he was like, "I'm ba I'm barely just creating job opportunities and helping people out." Oh my god. Yeah, scalpers. And, uh, they don't know. They don't know that they're scalpers. Yeah. And I, I, I just see myself as the middleman between the company and the person, you know? <laughs> Yikes, and then selling it for like 50% more. Yes. That, that, I, I, I wouldn't want that as a job, like scalping, like even selling Lego, I, I wouldn't really enjoy doing. Yeah. I'd rather have the Lego. Exactly. Uh, do you have any sealed sets? I, no. Uh, I got a bunch of them. I, I need to do an updated uh, sealed collection uh, video. I do have a video on that too. But like, um, the like... only the only one that I have is the is the Statue of Liberty. Nice. Is it like how old is that one? It's it's the newer one. Oh, the newer one. Like my backlog right now is Stranger Things sets. The Friends Apartment set, um, the Central Perk set, the 60s, I think it's 60s, Batman, Batmobile, um, and then the Gauntlet. Those, those are the sets I'm, I'm going to build, and then I got a bunch of sealed sets that I'm never gonna open probably, like all those promos. Um, I do have like one of the Tatooine Mando set, maybe I'll... Probably gonna give that away for a thousand subs. I don't even get the the Tatooine Mando set. Yeah, it, it was only cool for the figure to be honest. Yeah, that and I mean it's kind of obsolete now with yeah, Mando coming in with one. Exactly, exactly. 
Like that's no, it. I'm just gonna get the advent calendar. Cause yeah, I already have a baby has... Yoda. Yeah, but that that, yeah. that one has like a cool printed, uh, new printing yeah. on it. Oh, I guess oh, yeah, I guess the Mandos, yeah. I guess the Mando set isn't completely obsolete since it's still the most cheap option to get baby Yoda. Yeah, it is. But I already have like three of them. Yeah. <laughs> Though I don't need that at all. At all. Um, but like the whole thing about the Mando test we said, like the thing that made it cool was like, oh yeah, the new figure, you know, the new best card figure. Yeah. But now it, it seems like such a boring set now. If it like included the, the fake Boba Fett, I, I don't remember his name. Cobb Band. Yep. If, if it added that figure, it would I mean the set would be exclusive. So in some way, it would be more. True. And it would be more interesting to, to get that set instead of like getting all the other sets that have that figure, the uh, Mandalorian figure. To be honest, do you guys like even want to build anything from Mandalorian? Like what? Like what mock would you even make from that? I don't know. The only one that I would consider making is Tython, but that's pretty like boring. Like a like a a, a dark fan planet that's pretty overdone. Yeah. Like I, I don't really see anything in Man the Mandalorian that I also also Trask. I mean Trask is pretty cool. And what is that? I mean, is that the the, the I mean, water planet? The, um, the water planet. Oh yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I mean I only build vehicle mocks, so except yeah. for the Razor Crest or some of the Imperial vehicles, which I. I mean there is some pretty cool stuff in there, but I probably won't build much. Like if you had to make a vehicle from Mandalorian, I think the I think the ITT from season one is pretty cool. I definitely prefer the Rebels variant. Uh, I don't know. I oh think yeah, they, we saw. I that think one. they both look cool. What's the difference? Yeah. The, the um, Rebels one is more uh, angular on the front, and it has. Yeah. Some of them don't have the turret on top. Mm. And I also think they're shorter. Like I like what, yeah. how they look, but I don't really see the point of like the little doors there. Like, what's the point? Like, why is so it just connected faster? So that so they just stand there, or do they come from the inside? Um, well, on the, the newer inside, design, yeah, on the Mando design, they come from the inside, but on the Rebels version, they are just stationed on the outside like droids. <laughs> like a like a trash man, like waiting to pick up yeah. the bags. Yeah. Is that how you say it in English? Trash man? Garbage like, man? Yeah. Garbage man? Yeah, that's how you say it. Yeah. Um, Trash man. <laughs> it must really suck just standing on the outside for like a five hour drive. Yeah. Like apparently here in my country they don't really get, like they actually get kind of paid well. That's like not yeah. the, the lowest of jobs you can have. But still, I wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, no. I wouldn't either. But they're absolutely necessary. Like, I've seen some... Uh, yeah. Some... I think like they, they uh, you know, rioted or whatever. I think there's another yeah. word for it. But they just don't... The society is going down. Yeah, just they, they just don't show up at work and then just trash starts piling up. Yeah. In my neighborhood, the trash people are supposed to come every Wednesday, but they they always skip it. Okay. Wow. That's weird. Yeah, we we have every Monday, and it switches between bottles and uh, cardboard every week, every other week. Do you guys wait? Is it like not you don't do you guys even recycle like in America? Yeah, we we recycle. We have uh we have one when the trash guy comes, we have one bin for trash and then one for recycling. Dude, have you seen any American TV show at all? <laughs> they have like two, two <laughs> only two versions. Two uh different. We have like we have four of them. We have a green one which is for plants and ve vegetables and whatever food yeah. and like food waste yeah then we got a blue one uh that's for cardboards 
Then we have yeah, blue, blue transparent blue bags, which is for tin cans and plastic bottles and whatever. And then we oh, have we have yellow bags for plastic packaging. Yeah, or ours is like transparent blue. And then we have wow. white bags for just just trash, you know, just normal trash. And then we also have something else, which is a small green box, and that's like for tech, like uh, technology, batteries, and stuff like that. Wait, that's We also have like a black bin for pretty much anything else. Yeah, our black trash can thing. That's just the the normal, you know what. With, like the trash can you have in the kitchen or whatever. Mm, yeah. But I I heard some something like in some states they don't just don't like they just put everything together like all the trash together. Yeah, some people wow. do that. Wow. And you know, something we we also don't have. The last one is planned is going down. Yeah, that's why. Some like we don't have those grinders in our sinks. Like that's not we don't have that at all. Wait, those are actually a thing? Yeah. Hell yeah, that they're actually a thing, dude. There's like a blender in there. It's like a blender in there. Wait, where did you see it and like did you think that's only in the movies or something? No no, I I knew it was a thing, I was just like that's actually common. Yeah in America. Yeah, I have I have one of those at my house. See? Well, that's like... What are they even for? Uh, it's for when you wash the dishes in the sink and like little, like tiny pieces of food come off. Like we, uh, like we get tiny what, what? pieces in there, but I don't know. Like I yeah, but they just flash away. Yeah, they yeah. just you go have to, through. Do you have to clean it? No. No, it just goes through it. Like maybe our pipes are bigger. I don't know. Um, I mean, sometimes you have to clean it like once every three months or so if something really big got in there but otherwise but you just put like a product in there right yeah just uh, acid or something i don't know and also like a thing that america doesn't have is um those the windows you know just if you see a window that we can we can like slant it downwards so it's like a yeah. little bit open. That's also not in America. Oh, like on houses? Yeah, it's just a, a normal window. Time for, um, maybe I can Wait. find a window and show it. Yeah. Okay. So we can open our windows in two uh, two ways. Like up, up and sideways? Yeah, so just sideways. Hold on a second. Wait, are you actually going to show it? Yeah. How? Through video chat or? Yeah. Oh wait, I'm gonna read the chat real fast. Are we gonna get an eating part of the stream? Depends when I get my food. Um, uh, Dart, what's your, what's your favorite? Okay, I'm um, tiny phones. Are you watching? Yeah. We have to see. Okay. Um, behold the glory of um European windows. Yep. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> What the hell? I forgot these windows are <laughs> chip. Um. Oh my goodness, that was perfect. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Wait, uh, I I'll see if the other one. Goes. He opened his window and the the thing came off. Oh my god. Oh, no way that did I'll you another one. did you script that? No way you didn't script that. So the thing is. When you when you put it 90 degrees to the side, it opens up normally, just you know, sideways. Wait, how does that work? Do they have like? I have no clue. It's a weird design that somehow works. Like and so and if, when you put the handle upwards, you can pull it and then it slants a little bit up, like towards you, and then it's like a little bit open. Hey, wait! I have a different window. I have a different window. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> okay, so for one. The handle broke, yeah. So that's one, that's nope. you know, 90 degrees. Okay. okay. And then you pull it, and there we go. It's so weird, how how does America not have this image? Wait, it's like, it's like a door? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty... 
I had also just slides open. Oh yeah, it like just slides open upwards. <laughs> like that's it's weird, you know. And in French, in uh, France, they also have something weird. Their toilets, they have like just like a hole, just a hole in the ground. Wait, really? Yeah, they have like, <laughs> they, like they have like you know you know what the material your toilet is made of. Right? Yeah. They have like a square on the ground with a grip, you know, where your feet go. Like, it's like wavy uh, from that material. And then you, there's a hole in the wall. So if you want to shit, you have to like squat down. Um, should somebody tell them we don't live in the Victorian ages anymore? Yeah, like, wh like I saw that in a restaurant once. Like, they obviously also have normal toilets. But that's that's like something they still have. Weird. Like the medieval times are over, now, yeah. Guys. <laughs> so dumb. In the medieval times, they had like little houses as outside a building, and then it just plop down. Yeah, right onto the street. Yep. <laughs> it's almost... Imagine just oh standing God. below that. <laughs> yeah. What? And it, and that was normal for them. Yeah. That's why like a Rome is cool. They had like sewers and. Water systems. Bro, I don't want to go in the sewers. Yeah, like there, there's actually like we have like pretty old sewers in like uh, the like the main city of the part where I'm, uh, I am, and they have like tours in there, <laughs> like a sewer tour. So you can go there as a recreation. Very fun, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um. See, Zappa didn't know it as well. It's it's a pretty cool invention, I guess. Wait, Micah, are you leaving? Thanks for uh, staying for watching stream. Yeah, Brick Burner has a, an, a a cool a cool room. I would uh, decorate the hell out of that room. <laughs> Put a lot of in my room, I actually shit. have like a, it's like a wanted poster, except it came, it came with one of the Clone Wars DVDs, and it's basically a wanted poster for Cad Bane. That's pretty cool. Yeah, right now. Yeah. Exclude brick and a room tour, or not? Oh, right, let's go. In this room, uh, let's. Uh, that's Bro, your room so, so looks big, big, big. I'm jealous as hell. Perhaps. Look at the yeah, couch. I mean... Live one summer in here and you won't be. <laughs> I would honestly just get an uh, air conditioning. And it's gone. Um, air conditioning? That, uh, is that even a thing in Europe? You can get like... Like... I mean, it, you don't really see it a lot, but you can like get those... Uh, you know, the, those ones. The ones that are like separately sold. And you can like yeah. get a tube and you put it out of, uh, out of your window. But, I mean, couldn't you just open your window at that point? Yeah, or just live in the basement. True. But not in the attic. We, I don't even... But yeah, no, I that. do love this room. Yeah. But, you know, the coolest thing in your room is probably that uh, Attack of the Clones poster, to be honest. That's a cool I mean, poster. I mean, it's like, a, not really a poster, it's like an artwork thing. Yeah, wait. Oh, <laughs> you just pulled it off. Yeah, it's like yeah, a, can it's it's a like canvas. Yeah, that's what it is. That looks cool. Yeah. Uh, acclimator, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're like chunky boys. They seem so heavy. I don't think I've taken it down since I've got this room, so I don't know if I just drink something or something. Oh, no. <laughs> It's gonna fall on your I had this one, like, Death Star painting that I... It's not a painting, but it's like, just like... It kind of looks like the Death Star. And then I hung it right above my... One, one of my Lego shelves, and then one night it fell and broke a bunch of sand. Oof. No. Like, the one thing I've dropped is like... Uh, the 2008... 2008... I'm uh, sorry, that I'm there. I, I, the guy who threw that painting down was actually me. I wanted you to see that you shouldn't display playsets. Oh my god, yeah. oh no. Okay, fucking 
placate haters here. <laughs> just, you just destroy them. Whenever, uh, whenever I try to walk in my room, I always like step on a bunch of bins and like put Lego everywhere. Dude, my my room gets so messy instantly. Like, Bruh, I don't I'm trying know to how clean it happens. It right now, but it's, it's it's a lot of work. But when it's when it's clean, it's so satisfying always. But it gets I dirty so easily. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Cleaning. Cleaning your room is just like so bad, but some days you just get in the mood for it, yeah, so you exactly. just gotta wait for that. Like sometimes, like I just want to clean my room, and sometimes I just not bothered yeah. by it. I just don't want to do anything. I usually don't want to. I usually only do it when I have nothing else to do. But when you have nothing else to do, you're just bored. You're sitting there bored. You know, you know what's yeah. weird? When you have like... nothing to do, then you won't do anything you actually have to do. Yeah. Like. It's so weird. Whenever you like, like your internet, like shuts down, you, like you're like so confused. Like you're so used to having the internet. Like I'm like, uh, yeah. uh, what I'm gonna, what am I gonna do right now? I guess I can sort. I mean, that's also like when you're just like really bored and have like ten assignments waiting. You won't do any of them because <laughs> you just can't motivate yourself. Yeah, that's true. I, I I I can motivate myself. I can do assignments when I. Well, I'm sorry, but us mortals cannot. Wait, hold up, Exodroid. Yes. Dude, I thought you didn't want an anime cartoon <laughs> profile. I did it too bad. Bro, I, I changed mine last night, it, but then people in my DMs were spamming me and they were like, Bro, what an ugly profile picture. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I got it for the day, but it kind of looks like me. Well, yours looks just like you. Yeah. It does. For me, they didn't have the same hair, so I had to use a different hair. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, they didn't have droids. It's so racist, dude. Bro, I yeah, wanted to, to, to have mine orange, but the closest they had was red. <laughs> well, I mean, they got some questionable stuff on there, like spiffy stuff, man. Like yeah. tails, oh. tails well, have and. Have you seen Spiffy's profile picture? Yeah, I don't know what to think of that. Um, I'm gonna use what my hair to Spiffy? Go... Like long hair, long hair and cat ears, and all that stuff. Yeah. What happened to him? He's Bro, gone. I was walking. I was like driving home yesterday and I saw this yeah. one random person in the street walking with cat ears and like a tail. No, oh, no. Please no. Get away. <laughs> you need to move out of there, man. Yeah, it's by my grandma's house. She said that she's, she's trying to move soon. Move away. <laughs> move okay. away from the furry. You need to get away from that person. Yeah. Next thing you know, she's gonna walk outside with a fursuit. Oh no. Yeah. That's even worse. Uh, but yeah, whatever happened to Spiffy, I'm... Uh, he definitely just hit that one tree a little too hard. <laughs> when Spiffy didn't uh. used to be a weeb. When he didn't used to be a mod. When he was a, he was a storm, uh, a scout trooper once, but... That ended. Now, that ended. Dude, the, the whole, the whole pirate face, I don't know about. <laughs> oh, How, God. Uh, he yeah. wasn't even Spiffy anymore. And I mean, he didn't even know who Pyro was. Really? Yeah, no. Remember how surprised he was when he learned that Pyro could turn into another character? <laughs> what? I didn't know. Yeah, no, that. That, she's, she's a character from the game called Xenoblade Chronicles. And yes. in that game, she can turn into another uh, character. So he knew it just from uh, Super Smash Yeah. Wars. Yeah. But you, you also have like a profile picture you can't change because of the community, right? Yeah. I guess you yeah. Had, you had that from like another Discord. Uh, stickers, stickers, stickers. I might, like, I'm like keeping all the used stickers so I can use them for something else. Like the, uh, the black parts of the. The sticker sheet. I see some people use them to customize figures. Yeah, that's what. Uh, 
That's what I do for my 253rd clones. Mm -hmm. That's like a pure sway, yeah. like it's a Lego board. Yeah. A lot of people use stickers for the figs. I've seen, yeah, I've seen like a a mock maker like use cardboard from uh, the Lego, uh, like a Lego. Board. Oh yeah. Right. What? Yeah. Yeah, I know so there's one guy who built Ostriker the Grouch and he used Lego boxes. Yeah, I think that was the one. What's his name? Oh, I can't remember. It was for Iron Builders, I think. Oh. Is he on Instagram? Uh, I think yeah, I've I think seen so. it. Yeah, I mean, but you know honestly... how city builders sometimes you just use another section of table like Jang does it to raise their city up a bit? What, what do they use? They use um, a... just... also cardboard? Yeah. No, no. For for example, like Jamwick would use just a smaller table, put it on his table for like the mountain he was building. Or oh yeah, a filler break. Yeah, filler table. Just use his cardboard for it. <laughs> yeah, but I'm I'm honestly for it, dude. Like, that's that's purest to me. Yeah. Just anything Lego. I mean, just imagine the cardboard breaks away someday. Yeah. Could you use? Lego cups for something. Jay used it in on crate for the. Yeah. Yeah, Jay used it in, in crate to raise the shuttle up. Yeah, but Jay I do that too for my shuttle, but that's not his, if it, that's not what he's gonna use it for. That's just a placeholder. The cup he has in right the interview, now. He said last minute he wanted it to stand up, so he asked Garrett what we should do, so he's just used pick a, pick a brick cups. Yeah. But he's just gonna use the, you know, the, the normal transparent pieces. I got a bunch of those. They they are they got them, like the what is it two by f two, yeah, one by two and five up transparent. Those are pretty nice. On my shelves, I just use the Lego cups for all the ships. Yeah, I got those to for the uh, shuttle, little shuttle. Wait. Did you guys know that the the ATDP from Rebels, right? That set. Yeah. That 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 set is as tall as the new 2020 8080 uh, really? as the what? head as the head. Wow. The 8080's head is as tall as that one. So that's actually really tall, way taller than I thought. Yeah. By the way, are the Hibbic walls open for you guys? Yeah, uh, yeah, we just have to. Me. Yeah, we have to just pick him. Like, say, oh yeah, I want to ha have yeah. a scoop of this. You know, ha well. <laughs> also, scoops are just such a great system. Why didn't they have them before? Like, I, I would even use just give me some gloves and I'll pick him myself. Yeah, no, I, I don't mean like don't the scoopers doing it for you, but like the scoops themselves. Why didn't they have them before? Yeah, I mean. Oh yeah. You had to grab Dude. it in there with your hands and everything, like. Dude, I've been sc I've been scammed so many times. Like, I've said this before. Like, but the manager there, like, or not the manager, like the supervisor there in the Lego store, like he's always friendly to me, and he's just, you know, he just scoops a lot of stuff. Like, I get like, you know, I've said this all other times, but I, I get like this. Nice. Yeah, I get those, uh, you know, extra pieces per cup, and he literally like grab like. With his two hands, he grabs the pieces from the of oh the box, my. like and puts them in a bag because he's, he's just friendly, I guess. But he gets wow. so many pieces, like he actually grabs as many as much as he can, and if he drops them, he just puts them with the bag. And then wow. all these new, yeah, all these new employees, they they take two little scups. Just if it's like plates, right? Like uh, like four by six plates, they just take. As as much uh, a scoop can get, like barely anything. So I'm, I I wow. just want to uh, get the super fight from now. On. A scoop would be about eight or less or more. Mhm. Mm yeah, the, the, they're they're pretty small scoops. Get okay, something wrong. That was that was a, a nice little rant. Um, I haven't been to the Lego store in like two years. Even though I live like super close, but my I just haven't gone. Both yeah. me are I mean, an hour away. yeah, the nearest one is one hour away, and 
the other one two hours, so... Yeah, that's like a little bit too much. My local Lego store is basically a discovery center. What is that? A discovery center? So basically you can go inside, there's a bunch of like rides from like 2013 and stuff. So basically you have to make a booking for a birthday or just an expedition. You can learn stuff and there's a bunch of games you can play, Lego related. Or if you just want to buy something. Yeah, or is it just quite small. Or just I a guess. Lego store. Yeah. So we actually got a new Lego store in my country. But it's in, in Brussels, so it's super far away. Not super far, yeah. but we actually got finally got our second one. Well, I, I understood that as we actually got a new Lego store in my country, but it's in Brazil. In Brussels. You know, you yeah, know, no, no, you know I... Brussels sprouts? That's that's Brussels. Yeah, I, yeah, I know Brussels, but um, it just sounded like Brazil. So <laughs> Brazil. Like... Yeah. You know, Brazil is kind kind of funny. You know, they they got like massive fan bases. Yeah, yeah. And all the Brazil memes. Yeah, come to Brazil. I mean, I will send you to Brazil. Dude, my, heart, my hands are sweaty again. Um, okay, did Francis uh, put it in the chat? Let's see. Yeah, I also put it in general chat and the stream chat. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's it. Like, I like that. I also like when uh, sellers uh, put like invert their Lego boxes and use them as a box to ship pieces. I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of disappointing when you open it. You're like, oh, well, a new set, and then you just realize it's a bunch of pieces. Yeah, yeah, that that's like when they just use the box, right? But some sellers they like de deconstruct the bus, uh, the box, and then just so they do it like inside out. Yeah, inside out. So that's a good way to you know recycle, I guess. Yeah. A lot of people do that for bricklink. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean, like for uh, pieces, right? Hang on. Do you ever have to have the thought of like one day, but con? So, for example, do you ever have, like, think it's one day, but continuously have the realization that it's actually the other day, like, the whole day I'm feeling like, oh, it's Saturday, it's Saturday. Wait, that it's was Saturday. on Friday, I didn't know that it was Friday, yeah. I thought it was Thursday. The thing that comes yeah. just with, with uh, you know, the whole lockdown, quarantine stuff. That just, no, the thing is like, everything feels the same. No, the thing is, like, I had to go to back to physical school. Uh, yeah, I had to go to physical school this week. I've actually been there for, like, another few weeks. Like, we have a bi-weekly system. Like, one sis well, well, like one week, another group goes, like, and then oh, the yeah. other week goes. But, yeah. Do you yeah, have summer break? What? Do you have summer break? No. Um, actually, the break system is kind of different in Germany. Like, we get six weeks in summer, two weeks in fall, um, three weeks at Christmas, and then another two weeks in spring. Is that better than Damn, the, then I get way more. I do, I get more, way more vacation then. Is that yeah, better than the American system. Well, I think it is, yeah. Kind of odd. I get in the summer two months, in autumn two weeks. Um, I think it's three weeks or two weeks, three or two in uh, Christmas, then two weeks for um, Easter. And then another week in between there, and then again two months. Wow. Well. I have I have I like al almost three months for summer. I have two two weeks three for months, fall. Yeah. I have uh, one week for spring. Wow. And then I also have two weeks for Christmas. And then we also have a bunch of random days in between. And at my old school, we used to have uh, teacher work days every month where we would just get an extra uh, no school day and the teachers had to go. Yeah. That's basically everything. Mm -hmm. Actually, I uh, counted like Three I was super bored. Yeah, I was super... Do you even ever go to school, Tiny Fonts? <laughs> what? Do you even get, ever go to school? Uh, I, 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 I've been to no, in person he lived school. In my basement. I, I only went mm -hmm. to in person school for like three days for testing no no i but... mean like with all the days you're getting off like yeah, it was a joke <laughs> oh, okay i uh, actually like was super bored at school once and i we all had like these whatever the word is like um it's like agenda i think it's called um and it just you know 
a little book where we write what homework we had to do or whatever and i Maybe counted yeah i counted all the weekends and all the days off of school and you know in the vacations and it's actually just half school and half off wow. yeah so that might be everywhere it seems like there's a lot more school than than no school yeah so with the anyway the thing i was yeah like so we went back to school this weekend but yes so I think he's like yeah i think you're like Something, something i don't understand is how half days work <clears throat> half, half days day? mind we just go to school for half of the day and then we leave we we had wednesdays half always half days oh all wednesdays were half days at Wait, my school he has day? he has half days every friday and no homework what's a I half day what well, it's just I to 12 p.m like just Wait, school. hold up hold up hold, how long do you usually go to school i usually so, go for eight and a half hours yeah but our sc hours uh, like when, no 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 like when does school, school start and when does it end? Mine starts at eight and it ends cool. at three thirty. Uh, okay. Yeah, we, we had one hour. Is that a shop from the German system? Um, so it's like basically all over the place. Like Mondays, school ends at like you get a different lesson plan every half a year. But like the current one is Monday. We go to school till 12 or 5 a.m. Then Tuesday and Wednesday, it's till 3.30. Then Thursdays, it's like one week, it's till 12.50. And then the other, it's to 3.30. And then Friday, it's till 12 or 5. Why is it so different? So yeah. confusing. Well, I mean, the usual school day here is from 7.30 to 12.50. Or it's like 8.30 to, uh, to 3.30. Well, yeah, that, that's called afternoon lessons with us. And you only have them like varying degrees. Like sometimes, like some school years, you don't have them at all. And others, you have them like three days a week. Yeah, wow. with ours, it was like just every Wednesday, you had half a day. Every, well. In every school in our country. Yeah, I, I think a half day is pretty much a full day for us and then whatever else is like a full day plus welcome blue harvest bricks school though school mm, like i actually didn't really mind going to school only like the homework didn't uh, bother me like when i want when i'm home i want, just don't want to do anything school related like go, just going to school and you know just i don't know just having fun with your friends i guess but now school is totally different what's up with some teachers who give out homework in the weekend bro that's at my school we get homework on the weekend yeah, that's my my bad. math my math teacher gives us homework every weekend yeah, bro my math true. teacher's the worst he gives so much homework like some teachers like the science and english teacher don't care and send us off free but we still at least do the work but no like, bro my, my science like teacher science teacher yeah continue my, my science teacher gives us like he gives us a ton of homework <laughs> and then the tests are super hard bro his tests my are so hard dude all of my science tests are open book at least for this one really time. hell yeah bro he's never ha he, he barely even gives us time to study he tells us like a week before and then the test well, is super well my for us it's like the older you get the less homework you get and for us it's the opposite my science teacher school bro yeah. mine is nice but he his class is so hard his his class is the only one that i gotta be in science teacher dude I think how the teachers game. act is super important. Like if they're, mm. like they can actually help yeah. help out, and you can learn so much if they're actually decent people, and, and they're not just annoying. So wait, yeah. do you guys just have one sub subject called? You're lagging again. You're lagging. Oh sorry, I'm... can you hear me now? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you guys just have one subject called science? Yeah. Uh, well, Except I think in high school, 
No, in high school, it's earth science, biology, chemistry, and physics. Yeah. But when you're, like, in middle school, it's just science. But For us, it's like, in primary school, you have Sachkunde. So, like, things. Ah, yes, of course. Sometimes during the <laughs> class, my English teacher would just discuss about the original, original trilogy. Really? <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, and then he would ask me questions, like, I forgot. My, my, SpongeBob uh, and my Star class, Wars in class. Yeah, my class. Literally, no one watched Star Wars. Like, come on. Oof. Yeah, bro. Nobody at my school likes Star Wars. In kindergarten, there were a few, but now no one does. Like, uh... I'm probably the only one besides my friend who likes Star Wars. Bro, I don't I'm... even have any friends in real life who like Star Wars. Yeah, me neither. Well, my friend knows a little bit. I mean, I have... Then what did you get friends over? What? Old then school? how did you get friends? I... Yeah, what do you have in common that made you friends? Dude, the thing is, like, I had school friends, but they were just friends because I went to the same school. They weren't, like, same <sighs> interest friends. Yeah, they were just friends because... I have just friends because it's, like, uh... It's just good to have friends in school. Yeah. Well... But... Yeah, like, in first grade... A lot of the boys were sexist, so if they're like, what? hey, you're a boy, you gotta come with us. Okay. Well, I remember there's this one time where, where the, all the where all the guys came together, and they, there's like this little ditch under like behind the school with like a bunch of water in it. And then we all mm -hmm. went in there, and then we all ran out and started like like beating up random people. <laughs> what the? What the frick? Okay, that's <laughs> what I expected. Yeah, we... Mike, I'm going to go, probably wow. going to come back, uh, have a good day, yeah, same to you. Um, you know, yeah. one thing some people at my school once did was, uh, you know, I don't know if you guys have this, but it's like the last 100 days of the year or uh, before you're gra uh, graduating. That's a lot. Like, just the last 100 days, then you just actually don't, you don't have class and you, just, you know, you just mess around. Mm -hmm. And some people yeah. actually lit up fireworks at... <laughs> they they brought a box of firework and they just lit up firework at the on the courtyard on the yard or whatever it's called. My that... school did this yesterday. They did a forms like application thing and asked who is the most funny, who is the most talented, and then they. It's asked like an online yearbook. Thing. Yeah, and then they asked who has the best smile, and I wrote no one smiles in this class. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, but it's actually true. No one has a good smile. Welcome, Credibles. Yeah, but the thing is, you think you have friends in school until the teacher tells you to uh, look for partners for a project and they look at a different person. Oh, okay. Ooh, no. yeah. Oof. Same. I would usually be the last pick. Yeah. Classic. Because the thing is... Fence. Because the thing is, I'm like... I'm like not much of a social person, like, so like I have one friend in my class. So if they look at a different yeah. person, I'm done for. Yeah, for not sure. surprising considering you build a bunch of mocks in your room. I'm the only sorry. Yeah, I, you know it's kind of weird, but I like being alone. I don't really need to like, like be uh, super social the whole time. So yeah, I, it just cut out for a few seconds. Were you talking about anything? Me. No. Yeah, okay. Okay, someone is lagging. Like, every I'm... time you would be the last pick, then you would be paired with someone not to, so every time I ask the teacher if I can be alone. Oh. Yeah, For sometimes projects, sometimes so. being alone is easier to do the project. It's because if I pick someone any time to be, like, on the team for PE or to pick a partner, they always complain. Bro, in my in my groups that I have, like the teacher just pairs us in random groups, and then my and then he said, "Bro, don't worry, bro. Email me, bro, if your if your group members are doing any work." And then I email him, and then he doesn't do anything. Wow. Oh, so he's a generic American student. Yeah. <laughs> that well, you know, that's like a trope from like high school movies or anything. That's just one dude who doesn't do work and pays other students for. I've done so that what before. I do, if I have a PowerPoint presentation, I would just add credits and credit me for it. 
Bro, I would just write, I would just email the teacher saying that nobody else did any work, but then they wouldn't even care. Sometimes teachers can be mean and just don't care. Dude, so, someone once paid me to do his work and I just copied my work, so. Easy money. Bro, bro that, that, that's, I, I could do that. Yeah, I could do that too. That's something I could, like. Like when you're too lazy to do homework, just pay me. <laughs> Okay, wait, you wait, guys, how much did they yeah. pay you? Um, so it was like, it was like, not just normal work, it was like, actual like, end work or whatever you call it, you know, to, to show people to, for, uh, to graduate. And it was like, maybe 300. Oh that's, a, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I expected them to pay you like 20. But he was off. like, he was like someone like super lazy and kinda, you know, kinda had some money. Yeah. I mean, so it's everyone my at my school. If you have a problem, just from. You're lagging again, mate. Yeah. Sorry, my Wi-Fi isn't the best right now. Yeah, that's that's what we have in in the uh, EU, not the best Wi-Fi. Yeah. Actually, I mean, my village didn't even used to have unlimited Wi-Fi until like a year ago. I think we're actually getting fiber. Pretty sure. You mean 5G? No, the fiber, the fiber cable in the street. Like, oh, you yeah, know like what the... that is? Like fiber. Yeah, like the electricity ones. I mean, yeah, the no. Wi-Fi ones. The Wi-Fi. Yeah. Ones. I think it's Google Fiber. I don't know. I mean, in Germany, it's like glass fiber. Yeah. You know what's disappointing? What? So. For a few days, my school didn't have Wi-Fi, and literally every guy complained until I had data, and then, and then they would just come at me and watch on my phone. Wow! And, and did you did you ask money for that? Because I would. No, I didn't. They, no, as soon as the school saw money, they would take it away since the cafeteria is open. I remember at my school, I used to make draw little comics and sell them for money. Okay. Dude, we had, wow. we had a, um, uh, I, I forgot the word, uh, di like a soda dispenser, is that what the word? Yeah, and uh, yeah. like a, just a random dumbass Karen parent like complained about it, and now, and they removed it to a fruit dispenser. Wow. Uh, our, our school used to be so bad with the like whole internet stuff, you know? So first, okay, this is a bit of a longer one, so, um, well, so first... And like the first few years at that school, we used to just like do it. The in-school Wi-Fi used to be terrible. Uh, it, not Wi-Fi, but like the data. You basically couldn't get a signal at all. Yeah. Then, well, on the outside, like it was pretty good. But then they, in like the last year, they forbid us to use our phones inside. Yikes. And now we have free Wi-Fi for all the students and the teachers even involve phones in their, in their lessons, so... Nice. <laughs> Dude, At our I school, just... they never let us use our phone. Yeah, me neither. Like... Unless they do during lunch. Dude, we weren't even allowed to do it during breaks. Only during the lunch break. And those, At our school, we're not even allowed to, to do it during lunch. Mm -hmm. so... We have to leave them in our lockers. Wow. For us, they don't even have lockers. Yeah, that's that's not even a yeah, thing here. That's not For even COVID. a thing here. Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, I hate I hate on on my locker that how they have like the little padlock and it's so hard to open. I would rather get a word lock. Dude, like lockers, like that was such a thing for like my expectations from high school. Mm. To wow. get to get like a locker. halls of lockers. I'd rather just have a backpack and bring it everywhere. Wait, yeah, you guys don't better. have backpacks? You you don't have that? We have to we have to leave them in our locker. What the? What? No, so basically we have two lockers, one up and one down. The one down you can leave your jacket and your bag, and the one up it's like you put all your school supplies. Right, mine we had we had uh, we had it uh, alphabetically. Uh, we're we're Bruh. like the we're like it was like the the first people on top, and then the and then the other people on the bottom and when it when yours is on the bottom then you like got stepped on when you're trying to open your locker and like people drop stuff on you and it sucks ow 
they did that in elementary school when you had to hang your bag. Like, I used to be in between two people and it sucked. So every time they would drop something on me or something, and then I would get squished by the bags. Okay. It's like little cubbies. Like, you'd hang your bag. Credit Bill says, At my school, you aren't supposed to have your phone if you're 9, grade or below. Yeah, our, we had like our schools, they go from like high school, they go from you know year one to year six. And like the, the first two years, they weren't like the, they weren't like able to come over to our, our uh, court. Is it called court? Like you're yeah. just the, you know, the, the open space where you hang out. So they had their own. That's no, called section. courtyard. Courtyard, okay. Courtyard or recess grounds. When when did you guys get your phone? I, I got, got my. Uh, I got like a like a not a flip phone, but one that you like shove up to get uh, your keyboard at. Oh, you like the one in Iron Man. Yep, yep, yep. That I one. I got mine. I got. I had an iPad for majority, but I got my phone last year. Dude, the best time is I... when the iPod Touch was a thing. iPod Touch. What's that? that that's a, an iPod. It's like before. Oh yeah, yeah. The... Phone. Yeah. I've never know, had. The, I, I don't. I still don't even have a phone. The only time I had one was in like second grade, and it was a tiny little flip phone. Do you not have a smartphone right now? No. Yeah, I use it a lot. Did I just get a free plate, or am I missing something? At my school, people get like smartphones. At my school, people get like smartphones when they're like 11. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty common. Like my sister basically grew up with a wooden phone. Bro, people today don't even like watch TV. Nah, I don't. I never TV watch isn't TV. even a thing for kids. Bro, my my little cousin, he just he just like watches like Minecraft YouTubers instead of TV. Yep. I bet if you told him about Stampy, he wouldn't even know who it is. Bro, he doesn't even he he like he doesn't even get SpongeBob references. What? Oof. If you don't get SpongeBob references, you had a bad childhood. Yeah. I hate kids who just get phones oh, without back. working for me. You know, people who could just be like, hey, 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 mom, can I get a new phone today? <laughs> and, then, and then they just get it. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello, hello. I hello didn't... Oh, I yeah, have... sorry. I lost connection for a second. Oh. No worries. You're long back. second. A long second? A uh, oh. way long second. A very long second, yeah. I want to talk about that batch. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. I think that, I think that like 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 what I said earlier. I think that Bad Batch had a Bad Batch had like the perfect start yeah, episodes perfect. one through three, the perfect and beginning. then mm -hmm. yeah, and then episodes, and then the other episodes have just been garbage filler. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the problem it's just got a drum. It's got it's got a huge paging pacing issue. If you know what I mean, like the beginning is so slow right now, and every episode they're setting something new up, like. Crosshair being the bad There's guy, no the clone revolution. I think they uh, could have done yeah. the whole show with just like the plot from episodes one through three, like Crosshair being the bad guy. Yeah, yeah exactly. What happened to Crosshair in these last episodes? Nothing. He's not even been in it at all. Squad. Yeah, nothing because they needed time to set up like Phoenix, higher us, and um. Phoenix I don't even care about Phoenix at all. Yeah. Yeah, I could. They, not they care need a bounty anymore. hunter for reasons. Fine. Um. And then, like, they had to put in uh, the Martez sisters and some mm -hmm. sort of contact they have. And... I hate that. Chris Bender said in Jay's server that some people think that girl with crosshair is is the girl from Inferno Squad. What's her name? Yeah, some so people thought that, Aiden. and it's just so stupid because Aiden is. I wouldn't be surprised. Born back then. But why do? Yeah, she's barely oh. even born yet. Maybe she's three I mean, bro, or four if they years put, old. If like they three. put like Fennec Shand and like, if they put like Fennec Shand and everyone else that there, then I wouldn't be surprised if they. Yeah, but Fennec Shand was lore. actually alive during that time. Yeah. Bro, exactly. Uh, just like with changing the lore. Bro, no. Wait, what, hear I'm, me out. 
Yeah, cool. The actress is like 50, 60 years old, so it, it yeah. makes sense for Fanny to be at the same age as men. But there's like a picture of her age uh, in the 90s and like how it lines yeah. up, and it's actually she accurate. So she hasn't aged. Yeah. But the thing is that she what bothers me, hair. what bothers me is not like them really like showing up or. But it's more like it just makes the, the universe, which is massive, feel so small. Like, like no, oh, we I just hate that argument. we just I, randomly I we just argument. randomly found these people we've seen. Like, mm. yeah, that, the but thing is, there's only so here. few important points actually. I think the thing that made episode like episode three so good is that it actually focused on the characters instead of focusing on like yeah. bringing back other characters. Like That's, the, I mean, the, I like the characters coming back and making a cameo and everything and yeah. uh, seeing a bit more of their story, but like, Sometimes the story just suffers from it so much. Dude, I like cameos, yeah. but not every episode. Like in Clone Wars, they brought yeah. like Chewbacca back and stuff, but it actually like furthered Ahsoka's development. Yeah, it makes sense. Like, and it just gets over so fast. Cameos are fun, yeah, especially but not they, when they're not In Clone Wars, special. they didn't have like a new person every single episode. That would suck. Yeah, my, I mean... It's kind of every episode you're just thinking, oh, I wonder which character they're bringing in this episode. Not just, oh, hey, I wonder what to do with the characters. I'm cool. really excited to see something get concluded. No, um, what's the next cameo gonna be? Yep. Yeah. Like, cameos that are fun when they're, they're special and out of nowhere, not when yeah. they're expectable. Yeah, but now they're not even special because they're, yeah. like, in every single thing. Exactly. Next one's Darth Maul because of that hologram and the. Like, no, they're gonna set up another subplot. <laughs> uh, it's gonna either gonna be Ahsoka or Maul. Not it's gonna be a back. character we know, that's for sure. In Mando, they had a bunch of cameos. Like Luke, just why Ahsoka? They only brought her for one episode, so I guess it's okay. I Boba think they were just and... setting up like a bunch Bo of different shows. Sense. Yep. It's all for the money. That was Mando, yeah. yeah. Oh, for that money. Yeah, I was fine with Bo. I mean, Mando but pretty Bo... much got hijacked and just yeah. set up so many new other shows, but... like... Yeah, but Ahsoka... Bo-Katan is also a Mandalorian, like... It yeah. makes yeah, sense for it to be in a Mandalorian show, you know? Yeah, that's... And, he, and she like... also challenges development by with the helmet thing. Mm. Yeah. Like, in Mando, episode 1 and 5 were to set up the Boba sub show. Episode yep. 3 yep. was setting up like Bo Katan and the entire Mandalore arc. Which was think actually. Gonna, we're gonna see a live Sandy action Mandalore. Set that up. That would be cool. We yeah, I, I'm. Mandalore. I'd, I'd really love to see Mandalore like. I bet in, a lot of people would make more like that. They better show oh, yeah. it well. Like, I, I wanna see actual parts. Wait, I have to. I think my food is ready. I think the only thing they would do is maybe not show the dome of the city Sandari, or maybe just show the desert. No, and they def they're definitely gonna show the city because that's yeah, but what that's them trying underdo to do. It. I mean, the city itself, the dome, that could be done through CGI. Mm. Yeah, because it's just so expansive. Yeah. And then, like, they can definitely build a few sets, and it's not like the budget isn't big enough. Something I don't understand. A lot of people bring up why Bo-Katan didn't pick the saber. It's because she did with Sabine. Yeah, I don't even the, care. I mean, the thing, the thing with the but saber is, first of all, it looks terrible. The live action version. <laughs> oh no! Here we go. No. Okay. No. 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 Uh, um. Yeah. Anyways, like the thing is, she Wait, took. Actually, a I think your camera just died. Yeah, I'm gonna oh. le let it cool for a bit, and I'm gonna okay. eat on stream real quick. Okay, um... The thing with bo is... Like, that's the argument that she just doesn't wanna, like, screw it up again and... Oh. Well, wants to claim it herself, but then... But that doesn't even make sense, because she still wants it. Like, she definitely still wanted it back, but now she won't take it. But even she won't... She but won't she take it because it's them. it's like the whole point. She's like loyal to Mandalore and also loyal to yeah, her but she race. Al already took it before. So she doesn't From want to back up. Uh, oh yeah, it's not it's not accurate yeah. to what they've shown, but it's I what they're showing now. I guess if, if she claimed it, like if she claimed it her own this time, then maybe she she will see herself as worthy again. But she won't just accept it again anymore. 
Yeah. It may be because of our mistakes of the past and how she lost yeah. it. Yeah. I still want to know how she lost it. Like, how could she lose it to Gideon? Yeah, but that's because they raided again. Mandalore. Bro, bro, maybe Darth Vader fuck Gideon. I don't know. Oh, well, know. yeah, I mean, I could see it, hap it happening. It's just like she got overwhelmed and lost it in battle, and then Gideon just picked it up. He just picked it up. No duel. The end. But the thing is, Gideon, in that case, Gideon wouldn't even have a claim to it in the first place. No, they would have to duel or some sort. Yeah, otherwise, Gideon wouldn't have a claim to it, it first place, so it's still be first. Yeah. Can I do this argument real quick? Yes. I remember like a year ago, I s not a year ago, a few months ago, I saw this post of these Mandalorian season 2 questions we thought would be answered and none of them were answered. Well, the only thing that were answered is like, w will Luke Skywalker be in this? That's the only thing. They focus too much on cameos. Like, yeah. we don't know what happened to the armor, why Moff Gideon needs Grogu. But the thing that I what hate the, the most about season 2. Four? Yeah, that's the that. thing. Like, when does he, does he, like, you can have cameos, but you gotta focus on your own characters. Like, there's so much questions that haven't been answered. Yeah, like, what happened to Paz Bisla? Where did the armor go? Because, like, we saw mm -hmm. the forge again in, see, in episode 4, but not her, was she was just, like, season gone. Yeah, bro, season 1 was so good. Yeah. It was a finally a Star Wars show that didn't need to include everything. Yeah, and honestly, but I can't wait to see like bo current fleet or whatever she has. I bet she's Yeah, not. I'm excited for some of the Mandalore stuff. Yeah, because like, for one, she just has a Gozanti cruiser and the 546 cruiser from Gideon. Yep. Then she I'm has- I'm excited to see Thrawn, who's one of my favorite characters. Yeah, oh, I'm not, I'm not but that's the Ahsoka okay, though. Dude, but I like Thrawn just, just because how he looks. Like, I like the but I think dress. Thrawn no, would just like seem out of place in the Mandalorian. Like, yeah, but what? they mentioned them. Um, maybe he'll be in the Ahsoka show with Ezra. Yeah, uh, no, Ahsoka that... and Thrawn just seem so forced. No. No. Not necessarily. I mean, Ahsoka didn't really have much to do with Thrawn and Rebels, that's true, but like, she's going after like the last few remnants of the Empire and Thrawn is pretty much the biggest figure in there right now. I honestly like Thrawn because of Legends. And she's helping Sabine, you know. Because he's a, basically a military leader and a good... I didn't, I didn't like Thrawn too much in, in Rebels. I mean, Thrawn is like one of the hardest characters to actually do Bro, justice. I like Thrawn if he actually wants something with his predictions. Yo, bro, he, he, just let the, he just like let them all lose, and then he was like, I meant to oh, do yes, that. That's that, what Jay says. Guys, guys, um, I think you haven't. I think you missed the season three finale. Yeah, but so many of them still escaped. See, I like, I like that the, they. I like that they actually just killed him. <laughs> all the rebels. I like how he just killed Bendu. Like, yeah, I mean, like that's. I mean, that's how the empire is. I wish so... we got to see more of Bendu. He was cool. Ah, he just watched it, whatever to me. Bentu's just the adaptation of canon Grey Jenna. There's lag again. Um, sorry guys, my little brother came in. And what I wanted to say, um, first of all, they lost almost the entire fleet and base at Erdolon. Yep. And Thrawn did not kill Bandu. He disappeared. Oh. Uh -huh. Like, you can see the shot was in the ground. He didn't actually hit Bendu. I didn't see the, it. See Rebels. I think the, Obi -Wan moment. the season the season 3 finale is my, is my favorite episode of Rebels. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know what, what my favorite is. I also like the one with the clones, just because when they first meet them, just because they're, they're clones. Yeah. What do you guys think about that droid episode? The, from the one where AP5 follows uh, Wedge into the bathroom. Uh, no, the bro. one where they go into, into the droid the droid ship that crashed. Yeah, where all those droids... Oh, I like that one. Were... That one. You know, I want to know what Kalani is up to right now. Who? <laughs> the tactical droid. 
He has a name? Yeah. Yeah. He was no. in the Yonder One arc. I'm so bad at remembering names. And at the end of the Yonder One arc, Doku ordered him to go to that planet we see him in Rebels. So. Wait, that's oh. something from Rip from uh. I didn't know that was something from Clone Wars. Yeah, Kalani was the tactical droid on on the run in the Clone Wars, and right. he's I, wish I, I wish I can remember those things. I remember well, pretty just much all of Clone Wars, but none of Rebels. I kind of rewatch Clone Wars, obviously. Mm. I rewatch it. I've been rewatching it a lot because at my grandma's house, she recently got a new TV that has Disney Plus on it, so I've been rewatching Clone Wars while I eat. Wow, a TV and that comes with the screen, so. Yeah. Wait, what were you, what were you saying? In season four of Rebels, Ezra just went space whales to kill Thrawn. Yeah. Or the finale, the finale was pretty weird. Yeah, I mean, space whales. Where did he get fitting. those from? Where did he not get them from? Like, like, have you seen that scene where Ezra's friend like flies up with the ghost and sends that frequency out? Yeah, but why space whale? Not because the space whale. Because the force. It's yeah. The force. It was destiny to happen. Dave Filoni is a genius. He's a poet. I'm not too bothered by the space whales. I mean, it's just Dave yeah, Filoni. I mean, the ending uh, is literally I'm not just. Bro, he couldn't even yeah. think of anything better for like the ending of the of his show. But no, that's the thing. He, he, it, it wasn't the end because he knew he could just make another show that continued exactly. it. Exactly. He would approve yeah. it. Yeah. So like, why would he? Why would he end the show when he knows he can just make another one? It's yeah. Rhymes. That has nothing to do with that. It was no. kind of left field, anyways. <laughs> he knew he was gonna make an Ahsoka show. Oh yeah. I'm not of excited course. for the Ahsoka show at all. I would have loved to see like an animated sequel to Rebels where we see Sabine going afterwards as well. But yeah. the Ahsoka show is kind of service there, I guess. Dude, I just hope that Tehran is like keeping Ezra hostage or something, I don't know. <laughs> on the ship? Just on the... But, yeah. like, well, it doesn't really make sense. How are they going Ezra into in space with open windows? Who, who knows that? I don't know. But they just hang out in the no, no, no. You yeah. see, um, Ezra was actually holding the it back, everything like the vacuum of space ah. using the floor. Yeah, you That's see, cool. um, the glass pieces actually flying around next to him, so he was definitely using the force. They just showed the cantina saying, How are you doing? But you know, the thing is, wait, what did I want to say? Damn it, Shit. no, uh. <laughs> okay, yeah, back. Um, the thing with like. The Ahsoka episode in the Mandalorian is like for years we didn't hear anything on Thrawn and Ezra, and then in the so in the um, Ahsoka episode they just bomb dropped the shell like, hey um yeah. Thrawn is out there and he's leading the Empire, huh. and yeah. like the fact that she's asking for Thrawn specifically and not Ezra who she should we be going so for. So much history. Do we, yeah. yeah. Do you know what would make me mad is that um. Like, Tron would be like one of the per people that were starting the First Order. I would hate that, dude. Oh, oh In God, the background. No. no. Yeah. It's canon that Hux was one of them. No, Hux was one of them. Yeah. How is Hux a spy? Was he a spy after or from the no, beginning? Hux, after. Hux Bro, I don't even know how he was a spy. No, um, Hux basically hates Kylo. So at the point ah, where yeah. Kylo became the Supreme Chancellor, he started spying for the. Resistance. Is this just me, or is it kind of funny how Hux died? Yeah. Okay. Episode That's 8 made, made him a joke, so... Yeah, so it was kind of obvious he would die, because he just became a clown. He's basically his own personal body bag. Yo, Zappa's back in the chat. Oh, stop. Yo, yo, yo. Wow. Honestly, I like Rebels a lot, dude. Yeah, it's pretty. Good. The the, it's okay. the earlier seasons are pretty rough, but but the rest is good. Like the thing, like I people say, like, oh yeah, they're you're just going on another mission or whatever. But that's like kind of the point. That's of the, the point show. of the show. Instead yeah. of like, there's not really an go like a big story in the background. It's just a family trying just to survive. Any advantages against the Empire. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, like an I mean, animal. there is a bigger story. They're being hunted by Crossia. Mm. What? I feel like it would, the show would have been better if the main focus and, was And um, I'm sorry, and there is a bigger, there's a bigger story going on in the background, like the whole Camino and thing is happening. Yeah, but they, During Rebels. it would have just been so much better if they just go into that more, because that's the that's no. the most mm. interesting part of the show. Yeah, like that's I basically. Like the but we won't see them in this episode, uh, the show. The only thing that I really don't like about Rebels is Sabine. I don't like I don't like Ezra, Sabine, or Zeb. Well, Sabine What's is Zeb. Zeb is just there. I like Zeb. Sabine's kind of cocky. Yes, he, he Zeb has like his relationship with. Wait, wait, wait! Zeb has course. his relationship with Callus, and he. Zeb grows yeah, throughout that, the show. I don't. I didn't have a problem with any of those characters, to be honest. Yeah, I don't either. Like Sabine is great. Yeah, I don't. I just I, think I that think Sabine that... has like way too much crammed into her character. Okay, yeah, I mean that's kind of true. Like she's barely a teenager, and she developed a weapon that could kill all of Mandalorians. So yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so but that's that's whatever. He's basically that. every stereotypical girl that's happened in her life. She's got trauma. Yeah, but like, all Star Wars characters are ter just... Wait, let me go plug in my thing. It's slow on battery. Like, are you uh, talking about all -stars? Bad Batch. I mean, they're all kind of stereotypical, but... She's bounty She's hunter. like, she's I don't know, she's just uh, the sister. And an artist. She's 16 and rules Mandalore. Yeah, I, I never had a problem with her. Also, I didn't really like Ezra in season 1 or 2. Season 3, he got better, but then with that dark side thing, they just dropped it. Never really got brought back again. I mean, it got resolved. That's how, sh that's how shit happens. Like I, think, I feel like it should have dragged on for a bit longer. And I also like the relationship with Maul. Yeah. That one but scene with uh, Sidious was so so weird. Mm. Where you went what into was that Maul temple. Doing on Malachor? You know, sit and Malachor? Stuff. Oh yeah. He Maybe was he, he was there. Well. He was stranded, I think. Yeah, that that's something I want to see. Like, like how did this criminal empire fall? Like how did he become this miserable old grandpa and Hashtag make solo <laughs> two happen. Yeah. Like what do you how guys did think he... about like, how oh, did he go from leading the most powerful cr crime syndicate in the galaxy to, to his rebel man. self? I just want Solo 2 to explain this, if it ever happens. Well, I wouldn't want it. What do you, what do you guys think about Maul coming back in, in Clone Wars in the first place? I love it. Like, I, mean, too, I, I don't get character. why people hate it. Look, I don't I like that they brought him back, but I like what they did with him. Yeah, yeah Maul is my favorite character in Star Wars. Yes. Yeah, back then he actually did it well. Because Maul is, ain't no wuss and actually got up. And, and the thing with his brother. But... Yeah, like at least Maul did stuff and was like um, a, a part of the show. But Savage was just like a one episode. Uh, Savage isn't his real brother, right? It's just his brotherhood kind of thing. Yeah, right? it's basically like a tribe where, like, come on, brother. Yeah. I, at first, I thought he was like really his brother. Blood. It's because, like, how all the Night Sisters call them sisters, even though they're not from the same mother. No, no, um, see, Talson actually gave, gave birth to all of them. Really? Mm -hmm. well, yeah, she's weird. like a, no. like a queen bee. I don't know. There's uh, this Alabama right there. That's the thing of like... Savage and Maul. Like, M Maul is the direct son of Talson. And apparently Savage is too. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. I mean, they call her mother. You know, maybe no, the thing is, Savage is apparently also a son of Talson. Not just some random nice son. No, he's a also a son of Talson. Like, in he was chosen by the Force. And Night Sister Magic combined, she'll become Sailor Moon. Yeah. Oh, oh and he just happens to be Talzin's son. That's not... Okay. I really wish that 
instead of like doing just the one final season of Clone Wars, they they just continued it how it was originally supposed to be. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, they they cram and like more like. full already. Like, there's already no way all the events of the Clone Wars could have happened in those four, yeah. well, three and a half years the Clone Wars took place in. Well, there was a battle every day, which, you know. How would the yeah, Clone exactly. Wars be they, called they, after the Clone Wars? They didn't, have, they didn't have any breaks. And the thing is, like, we actually already discussed this on Drake's server. I, I don't know if you've got where they are. Anyways, the thing is, at the end of, like, the Anaxis arc, you know, when yeah. Padme was already visibly pregnant and it's supposed to be, like, at the very end of the Clone Wars. Mm-hmm. And they got an echo out of there, and that's when he joined the Bad Batch. Yep. And since then they've been on Camino once. And then Echo says in the Bad Batch that they haven't been there in two in over two hundred days. No, so I mean, like, I mean, they might have been somewhere else since. Oh yeah, two hundred days. You mean like that's <laughs> almost a year? It's yeah. Yeah. No, the thing is. Echo says the smell has gotten worse, which implies he was already there. But if they haven't been there for 200 days, that's that means that's almost an entire year between the Anaxis arc and episode 3. Huh. I feel uh-huh. like they made Clone Wars too short. Inaccuracy. Awesome. Yeah. I think they just probably just added that in because it wasn't in the it wasn't in the original, like the, the test animation. What? I think they just the Padme scene where Anakin talks to Padme in the yeah. bunker. Yeah, it's just added because the actress wanted to be in it and she was sad that she wasn't. She was sad about getting removed from the nose or... <laughs> no, no, it, she wasn't. It's not that. She was sad because she wouldn't be in this final season. Yeah, I get that. So people only just added that scene then. Yeah, I, I get that. There was nothing wrong with that scene. They, they showed that, that she was pregnant. Which then... Yeah, the thing is, the, the only wrong thing is that she was pregnant in that scene, because if it's 200 days from episode 3... And in episode 3, Anakin acts like he doesn't know that she's pregnant. Yeah, exactly, but she was <laughs> visibly pregnant in the bad bed, that means she was at least like 4 to 5 months pregnant. Or maybe she just ate too much. Yeah, he was just being Maybe, grateful. maybe pregnancy in Star Wars actually takes 2 years. She just hit a ball. Yeah, because of because of space, pregnancy actually takes three years. Yeah, exactly. When does Anakin have the baby? He's always in battles. When did Kanan and Hera have a baby? I don't know. Yeah, Are so... They adopt? Is there like an orphanage? They the adopt baby? the ugliest baby ever. No. <laughs> <laughs> the green-haired baby. Bro, he looks like an elf on the shelf. No. no. The, 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 he looks like a character where you just hit a random. Just a random selected generated uh, character. Something I found dumb about the Jedi is why is Anakin ever in his room in the Jedi Temple? Because he had a room in Clone Wars, but then he just sleeps in Padme's apartment. Uh, you know, because other reasons. Do they ever wonder where he goes, or do they just think, oh, he sleeps well? <laughs> Jedi business. Okay, that's like. Well, I don't that's think they would have checked on him in his room. They would have been like, like they would have no, like looked at him while he's sleeping. No, he he put like pillows under his uh, blanket, <laughs> oh, and then he slipped he out the window. He just added a voice box saying, "Go away, master." Hey. Wait, they have windows in Padme's room. Je- just imagine a Jedi like flying by on night shift and seeing Anakin sleep in Padme's bed. Okay, we're going to the nightclub seeing Anakin make. <laughs> yeah. On them, on them dead sticks. I want. They're probably gonna bring back dead sticks in something ever. Or they're gonna make that. Back in like Mando, Mando, or some other show. Well, could you imagine if Grogu ate dead sticks? Oh, he's he's on the. Wait. Audience. That implies he doesn't. What? He's, he's, that he's kind of implies he isn't already doing that. <laughs> Maybe. He eats everything, so yeah. See, I'm um, those blue cookies. 
They're actually human Those food. Those blue cookies are like weed brownies. Those are actually real food. They're like macarons. Yeah, they're macarons. They're expensive. Yeah. I remember they at the mall they had they had like one macaron for five bucks. What? Like four of them is like a batch of them is eleven dollars, and a batch is like four. Well, that explains why that kid didn't want to give him up. <laughs> Bro, imagine if he was like poor and then he used all of his money from the past year uh -huh. to save those. Oh my, that's just sad. Yeah, but past year of what? Uh... Never mind. Krugu. Just imagine just being in class eating, then just seeing some alien that's new to class steal your lunch. Yeah, why were there no aliens in the in that class? Grogu's it was just only bully. humans. Grogu's a bully. He takes people's lunches. Also, there pretty much was only one class in that week. Yeah, and also Grogu, Grogu eats babies, so. And I mean, Grogu is a baby. They put a baby in school. <laughs> a 50 year old baby. Let's yeah. Listen to a droid. Like, what kid would listen to a droid teaching? Yeah, that's people pretty about normal. They, they do I that. I mean, that, that's not a problem. Like, of course they use yeah. droids to teach. Like, and plus Star Wars like, education. I liked it, how they were explaining, like, the, the hyperspace lanes. Like, the yeah, Hidian way. Like, space routes. Yeah, I wish they like explained, explained a hyperdrive from the beginning and said like made a good rule about it, so it's not that no, confusing now. I think they explained now. it in A New Hope. They said if you like do something, you'll go supernova and crash into a star. Yeah, but they never yeah, showed I... that. They I actually haven't that watched A New Hope, Hope in a while. I watched it... it recently, and they mentioned like something about going hyperspace nova. It's confusing. You can what? Watch no, the, the thing is. If you don't use a hyperspace lane, then there's a risk of you running into a star. Yeah, but they, that's the that's only thing they do. They just lane. use hyperspace every time, just normally. Yeah. So they, if they like made a set rule uh, in the beginning I mean, and some consequences of it, then it would make sense. Yeah. That's why hyperspace lanes exist, and that's why the hot yeah, that's why some of them. And that's why blockades make sense if they're actually. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's are... actually why they also don't make sense because a planet could reach multiple hyperspace lanes and you don't have to yeah, exit yeah. it there. Like you could exit gonna... like yeah, true, true. You could like exit fly, like fly beneath, fly underneath that blockade. Like blockades don't make sense. Yeah, like They're kilometer just... kilometers apart. Just like... go under the blockade. Yeah. Yeah, but that's you know that's something you you can't really avoid that's in storytelling. I mean, what if you just attack with? What if you just split your fleet into a few parts and just like one attacks from the bottom and the other just like goes through at the top, like? Yeah, but that would be multiple angles. Yeah. yeah so one one, one part distracts one part distracts one half of your fleet distracts the blockade and the other just like flies through it underneath or something. Yeah. That uh, seems a bit of an extent. Dude. That, no, that, that's tactics. <laughs> the B-Wing prototype, Just they, they messed up with bringing that in. Yeah, Girl, that's oh, so... This, I love the B-Wing, but in Rebels, they messed it up. Having a, a boat ship destroying weapon on that ship... Where's like a mini Death Star. Exactly, but it can't blow a planet. It's, it can just blow up ships. Like, I mean, we haven't seen that ship blow... I mean, we haven't, that we, haven't, we haven't seen that ship shoot a planet yet, so we don't know. Yeah, but why well, did the rebels just get that model and just? It could probably just like fly above something and then just like shoot through the walls. No, the or reason like, shot the reason one place they gave is that that laser kills the hyperdrive, so they couldn't do that. You know what oh. they should have done? They should have yeah, made it where really the you know where it's fight. made on the planet. They should have had like just a, a rare material that only that's only on that planet, and because. It's like super rare, they, they could only make one of it, and there that's like because now you can just say, okay, yeah, just make that, and you got the most OP ship ever. But they should have just made it. Bro, like... Have you seen the, the Free Maker Adventures? Nope. Yeah, I know. No, yeah, yeah, Quarry, the, the Mon Calamari guy from the B Wing episode, was in yeah. there. Yeah, basically creates every rebellion ship. Yeah, on a rebellion ship. Mm. Building and... a rebellion chip on the rebellion chip.
well constructed and I mean, ship. The arrowhead is just such a overpowered. What yeah. is the arrowhead? Like the saber. The kyber saber is just a bunch of kyber crystals. <laughs> yeah, just. Of what even was that thing? Okay, what are no, you guys I talking about? I was bored. The free maker adventures. Oh, that's why I know I don't know what you guys are talking. I have no clue. For the Yoda that. Chronicles is is, is so much better than Free Maker Adventures. There's this lightsaber with a bunch of constructed by a bunch of Kyber crystals for the hell to create like this Lego. Yeah. Figure. And then if you swing the saber once, you can destroy an entire moon with a wave. <laughs> what? Yeah. But is that it's show even and... taken seriously or is but that just? It's not no. It's not yeah, of course it's not. It's a Lego show. Yeah, but you know, they could like use canon things, but they clearly don't. And um... And then now the Kyber Saber is now on Mustafar. And um... No, wait, wait, wait a second. Ah, fuck. Um, by the way, don't be scared to curse, like, I don't care. But yeah, the most, no the Lego... No what? But it, yeah, nothing beats the Empire Strikes Out. Oh Empire my God. Strikes Out. Classic. With Darth Maul and the that that Death Star. Yeah. Like a Maul Death Star. That's just kind. Wait, of how is it called? It's the, the Maul Empire Star. Strikes Out. I never heard they sold the name, many but... copies. I think it's on. It's you can watch it on. Oh, YouTube. it's the one that came with the figure, the Darth Maul Vader figure. It, com mm. it comes with the uh, with the metal thing. Yeah. Yeah, the Empire Strikes Out is just so great. Uh, like you have to it's watch it. Uh, yeah, I've seen the Padawan minutes. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so, that's good. But Yoda you Kong have was also just there. Padawan minutes was actually pretty good, but you have to see the Empire Strikes Out. Mm. Like, you're not a Star Wars fan if you haven't seen The Empire Strikes Out. And, and yeah. how long is it? Is it like a the full Yoda feature? The Yoda is kind of weird. Is, is it a film movie? No, it's not a movie. It's like a short. Oh, okay. But is it's a DVD. Yeah. DVD or you can watch it on YouTube. And I'll just watch it on YouTube. Okay. The, pa the Yoda Chronicles. Star City is doing a Jedi school. A Sith school, I mean. Yeah, like, like I wonder uh, how f funny the jokes are gonna be in uh, the new Lego game. Mm. Oh, I hope they're gonna be great. But they're gonna be with voice acting, so we'll see. Yeah. I'm I mean, gonna turn that I up. like voice acting, con like, I like it. Sorry, my, my thing just kicked me out of the call. Oh. 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 I want to see a scene where Kylo Ren just starts crying when Luke just disappears for the last Jedi part. <laughs> just he just starts raging and swinging his lightsaber around. Uh -huh. And I bet they're gonna add pugs everywhere for the last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker. Dude, I barely remember anything from Rise of Skywalker. The Rise of Skywalker um, was just. You don't need to rewatch it. I hate it. I mean, it's the worst Star Wars movie. It's like, pretty enjoyable yeah, to watch. Yeah, it's an enjoyable movie, but doesn't it just it's doesn't make sense. It's just so bad. And, and stuff is just not. Like, if you're it, a it, it feels like a Star Trek movie. <laughs> it does. Especially the pacing is the, the worst part when you're just watching it when it's not a Star Wars movie. The yep. dagger was kind of dumb. Dagger do make sense. Like how? Oh uh, yeah, that's why really do you use sense. a dagger when you have a lightsaber? Or the wayfinder? Because you couldn't use the lightsaber. Because first of all, not everybody has a lightsaber. Second of all, you couldn't just like make that lightsaber some random shape that would lead you somewhere. No, I'm not saying by lightsaber. Like why? Like why would they use a sword to tell exactly where they crash land? So some. So Ochi had to go craft that that sword yeah. exactly to the wreckage. Palpatine had to tell him exactly where his office was, so you have to track exactly where it is. Tell the forge men to forge it exactly this way, and if it's not, he's I'm gonna kill you. So when he gets it, he just hides it in the ship. 
And you have to stand at that exact position to find it. Yeah, and then you have to have the blacksmith go all the way to that planet slash moon and make it exactly and that I mean, shape. It, it and I mean, like in one of the game. documentaries or some, in one of the documentaries, they said they originally wanted to have the entire Death Star land on the planet. <laughs> What? It, um, the and then, and then they didn't comes. because they discovered it was going to be too big. Oh no, I wonder why. Yeah, but the dust storm went into chunks, so it wouldn't make sense. I bet some of that landed on Endor. Yeah. Like the Force Moon. In Legends, they put they put a shield around Endor. Uh, what? In Legends, the Rebellion put a shield around Endor. Oh. It's basically like Scarab. Oh, that's great. Like scare if there's a shield. Yeah, like that. Okay, guys. Um, I gotta go. See, See ya. You. See ya, mate. Bye. They actually never showed like how that that shield even worked. Um, they let me guess. They went to that imperial bunker. Be like, oh no, we could have used this shield. They rebuilt it super fast, Lego Star Wars form. Then they just added a shield. I'd imagine that they'd have, like, a generator coming from one part of the planet. Yeah, but that would be, like, so much transportation. Maybe they had one on the Mon Calamari ships. I'm pretty sure there's gonna, like, the 12th of June, there's gonna be a Rogue One watch party. Mm. Oh, okay. on, the, on the Rich Boy J Discord? Yep. Yeah. I think a public one. I couldn't make it to the solo one because it was like on it was on my last finals day of school and I had to like stay up until two AM working on a project. But I, I watched I watched the end of it at uh at my work in the morning. I watched all of it and Jay said the only reason he's watching this is because Quick, who's a member, convinced them to do it. Like they watched it so late that I watched it I listened to it on my bike going to work. Oh, oh. My dad rides his bike to work every day. Yeah, I have like an electrical bike, so I go super fast. Why don't you just go slow? Because I, I want to go fast. And then I have you more time fast. in the morning. I have more time in the morning if I... I got a, I got a new bike, but I, but I'm, but it's too tall for me. So I, so I have to like have someone hold the handles while I get it on. Like, hey, you can't then lower once, the I, once I get on it, yeah. You just you just gotta call your dad. Hey, wait, dad, wait, my up. dad's calling me. Okay. Yeah. Um. Something that bothers me about Rise of Skywalker is the whole plot of Palpatine. Everything popped in. Like, why is he there? Like, it the old man. The original script for the sequels was for George Lucas was Darth Maul to come with that Twi'lek. With that, like, red Twi'lek with yeah. most tattoos. Darth something. Talon, I think. Yeah. And then they would just rule, like, an empire. Like, the shards of the empire. Dude, I, I would just yeah. want Snoke to be a, a new emperor. Like, why yes. could he not be the powerful? Actually, in the beginning of of the George Lucas cut of the sequels, they were gonna have Han Solo and Leia's marriage. In the in the normal Force Awakens, or you no, know, George Lucas was cut if he directed the sequels. Oh yeah. Because there was always this plan to have nine movies. Yeah. So they can have that, and then they would have Ben. And then Luke would find out about Maul and more of the past. Then they'd just try to stop it. I don't know how old Maul would have been. He would have been old. And plus it would it wouldn't it would make sense for like time jump since it wouldn't be 30 years. Time jump from the original trilogy. During Phantom Menace, Maul only killed two Jedi. Qui-Gon. Qui-Gon and some, like, Twi'lek girl. Where? 
like it's in this comic. I'm not sure if it's legends or canon. I'm pretty sure it's canon. So basically, he went to this planet with pirates, and then they were auctioning off this Jedi girl. Then he went on this like adventure, and then he ended up killing the the girl. Hmm. Well, just like before everything. Yeah, before. Kind of weird. I don't know how long he have been through. Three hours and twenty minutes in. So a lot of backs. Watch Dave Filoni make Grogu die or survive, but if he died, it would be in a jump cut. I don't know if they're, they're gonna kill Grogu. That that wouldn't no, make sense for marketing. Kill him, they could kill him in a jump cut, and then Twitter would go crazy hating on Ben. Yeah. But like they would be very dumb to just uh, kill him because they make so much money of him. Yeah, but it wouldn't make sense to for him to survive. Like, where would he be the whole time? Why doesn't Luke mention him? Like the reason, Man. like the reason Luke why they made him a Yoda die. character because he he can live long, so they're gonna make use yeah, of that. Luke said himself, all of the students died because he saw him die with his own eyes and the temple to be burnt down. And the rest of the rest of the students joined. Wait, are you guys talk talking about Grogu? Yeah. Yeah. Like Grogu might not even be like, there. If he survived or not. Like he yeah, might. He could have just left. Yeah, we he and he left. could he also just not master. be at the temple. Like there's. Yeah, like Mando could have took him back. Yeah. Yeah, it's just chilling on Mandalore, eating grapes, and. And eggs. and like he could have just been. Like Yoda can People survive on his own, so when he is older and not an infant again. He's not, he's like able to move himself, you know? Yeah, but then Mando would just be old. Just an old grandpa taking care of this Jedi Master. Yeah, but night. like, Grogu right now is an infant, right? But in the yeah. sequels, he might have been older and like able to, you know, survive on his own, so he might have just escaped. When the... he was a baby, he, he could like stop Moff Gideon and stuff, so as a yeah. child, he could probably take care of himself. He's probably just hanging out with Mando. Could be, but we'll see that. I guess we'll probably see that happening. There's no way they're not showing Grogu again. I mean, yeah. No what do you way. think they're gonna do for Luke? Do you think they're gonna do you think they're gonna keep him as CGI? Or do you think they're gonna ca cast Sebastian Stan? Uh, they're, they're not, they're gonna, they're not gonna do anything. They th I don't they're think there's do anything hopefully. Luke coming. No, this really, is I don't gonna want gonna him FaceTime Mando. They're gonna FaceTime Mando. Like, I don't think they're. I mean. It was a big cameo bringing him back, but they're not gonna make a Luke based show or anything. Like, not for a while. Trilogy is Luke's show. I mean, kind of just all original characters plus Finn and Rey. Mm. And we remember that post Jay did on Discord of Rey cutting up Rogue's head. Wait, I don't what? remember that. I don't know. So basically, he got this tile. Like the circular light green tile, then he made it look like Ray killed Grogu, and then now he's bleeding. I'm not sure if he kept that in for Star Killer. We'll see for the finale. Hmm. Bro, I, I really wish I could go to Brick Rodeo, but my mom doesn't want me to buy stuff right now. Dude, I hope I can I'm fly there. For the summer okay. sets. I'm not going to a convention. I, sh I hope I can go, but that would be awesome. I need to see Star Killer. Not finished. Because he's he's gonna destroy it right after the show. <laughs> after like Fair. in the in like the crate interview, he's just gonna destroy it right after. Yeah, yeah he like push it, it off the table. Yeah. He pushed that whole mountain off the table. I, mean, I would never do that. That would be like so many of the pieces to... probably broke. Yeah, and it's just scattered everywhere. Mm -hmm. A bit like some people even stole some. Oh. So David did the same thing, and people were trying to steal. Like you can hear someone say, "Ah, free Lego," and they yeah. tried to touch the Lego, but they. Like, that's why I would not trust anyone to do that. I don't trust no one. If I went to a convention, I'd just bring a, a like a small sixteen by sixteen mall. 
Yeah. Like, don't... Yeah, but transporting them over, like, four by four box would be hard. Like, imagine transporting Star Tour. Or, yeah. I wouldn't- I wouldn't feel comfortable with Starkiller in the car. Yeah, but he's getting like break. a- He's getting like a truck. Like, he Literally hits a truck. speed bump, then the mountain just breaks. I mean, that's what happens with like, in his early YouTube days, he had made like a- A pot racer mock, and he put it in the back of his car, and it like, it fully broke. Wait, is he getting- is he getting like a- like a pickup truck, or like a giant U-Haul truck? Yeah, U-Haul. Imagine just saying a U-Haul. That's it's like 50, that's like 50 a day, it's, it's super cheap. Imagine how much people he would need to help, need to help him to transport Star Killer. Cause I can't see him doing it all he's by getting, himself. He's getting like Colt there, and I think Jedi Bob. Um, yeah. Hey, just got back from kayaking, I need to go get your second COVID vaccine. Hmm. Water sore. So imagine Have any of you guys got the COVID shot? Help. Nope. I got my first dose. I'm getting my second one in Dude. a few weeks. I wish I got. I haven't it, gotten mine yet. Mine, like yeah. here, they're doing the old people first. Mm -hmm. I mind uh, in US they were doing that too, but now anyone can get it. In I think. Canada, they allow yeah. you to get the Pfizer vaccine by 12 to. 15. I think all my family got it except for my mom. Mm. During COVID, I had like my cousin, and he went to he went to in person school. And then he he like came to my house every morning. So then every morning I would just be like sleeping like right before school since because of online school you could just like wake up like one minute before school and then yeah. he would just like jump on my bed and hit me like with a book or something to try to wake me up okay. Bruh. my alarm wakes me up and i get annoyed but then i just shut off all my remi reminder alarms then i would fall asleep till like a last minute i swear that al my alarm clock sucks like the ringtone, the Apple ringtone. Yeah, I just like uh, change it. I don't change it because none other one would wake me up. Yeah. I, on on my on mine, I have like the super loud alarm, and it it just like starts yelling. It sounds yeah. like like someone screaming. What a what a morning. Mine's the standard Apple alarm, which everyone hates. Mm, 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 mm. That one. Mine sounds like the Star Destroyer alarm, except like super high pitched. Wow, wow. That would actually be a dope alarm. Star Destroyer one. Yeah, I should get that. Just waking up, pretending like, oh no, the rebels are attacking. Okay, I gotta go. Thanks for having See me. See ya. See ya. Bye. So any updates on uh, the GM collab? Uh, not at the moment. I don't think. I think there's only like two or three builders who are still finished, including me. So I, I think he might have to push it back. He said that the the first episode was supposed to come out in like the beginning of June, and it's still early, so it might still happen. But like half of the builders aren't done, so I don't know. Yeah, like uh, I think next month is also like gonna be that community stream. I'm gonna be on that, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Is this community stream like basically like this, like anyone can join? Uh, they're like, uh, they put like uh, people that they chose before. Oh, that sounds fun. My Belgium brothers. Like, Didn't I'm actually, you say that you, were gonna, that you were gonna try to meet up with him this summer? Yeah, we're gonna like make a, a vlog or something. That sounds fun. I haven't, I haven't met any other like, like Lego Star Wars yeah, like people. Either. That's also why I want to go to Brick Fair. I mean, I, I mean Brick Rodeo, so yeah. I can meet like, yeah. That would be awesome. I, I'm, I hope I can go. Like, there's a chance. There's like a high chance I'm probably not gonna be able to, but I'll try. Yeah, me too. I asked my mom and she said that we could, but she just hasn't like. Yeah, like, but started anything. like you're, you could go if you want to. I, I don't know if I can because you know flying and yeah, stuff. Yeah, because you live overseas. Yeah. 
I don't know what the rules are gonna be in a month. Yeah. They could change. But luckily, it's like all they the also said, are I, I have this one friend who's going, and he says that the tickets are gonna be sold out soon. Uh, which for so which sucks. convention? For for Brick Rodeo. Oh yeah, I got my tickets already. Like uh, uh whenever they were cheaper. I have I have enough money to buy mine, but my mom just doesn't want me to buy stuff right now for whatever reason. And I haven't even yeah. bought in anything since like December. But how close are you? Uh, I live Houston. pretty far. So you you would have to fly to or. I I think I could drive, but it would just be really long. Yeah. I've never been on a road trip before, but I, I don't want to. It sounds it sounds nah, bad. It's super boring. Yeah. I only went to one. It was like two hours. And then it was with my little cousin, and he was like the most annoying kid ever. Oh, no. I, I like... Uh, whatever. I watched Friends on my iPad. Like, I um, took taped, like some sort of contraption to put my iPad on, the, on a uh, rest, and it was like a... Six hour drive, I think. Some of the cars have those built into like the yeah. back of the head thing. That would be useful. Or some of them have them come down from the roof too. Yeah, that's just luxury. Yeah. But yeah, I would rather not be in a car for so many hours. Yeah, unless it's like with with someone who you can talk to like forever. Yeah. But when it was just like with my little cousin, even though it was just for two hours, he was like finding every way to annoy me. Yeah, that, that's not fun. For yeah. hours. Uh, I gotta work on Wakanda as well today. How long do you think you're gonna be streaming? Um, probably... I can do like two more bags. We'll see. Okay. I should do these streams more often, to be honest, like a set day. Yeah, they're fun. More stream. Yo. And he's muted. Um, I guess, um... I don't know, on what day, maybe Fridays. I think, now that I have summer, I can, I can stream a lot more. Yeah, streaming... It's fun, but can also be very exhausting. It's only fun if there's people like engaging with you. Yeah, if, if you're just talking to yourself, it's very boring. I think it was, it was fun, like when I did it last time, even though there were people disliking because it was like we were interacting. And Bro, you asked like, for the dislike. Yeah. yeah, I did ask for the dislike. I was so confused. I thought like you were sad or something that you yeah. got so many, and then and then thought, okay, you asked for it. I don't know. Actually, I what like does this do dislikes even do anything to your channel? I don't think so because there was still there was there was still like ten viewers for the whole stream, which yeah. is more than usual. Yeah. So I think yeah. I don't I think it's just I think it's just because of the I think the most important thing when you stream is just the time that you stream. Yeah. Also, like on Saturdays, like all the other people are streaming, so that's not a good yeah. day to stream because. But the Lego community summer. is very small. Yeah. Uh, so the only set we're missing is the forge. The so only set. Which ones are you gonna buy everything from the new wave? Uh. I want everything except I want the Boba Fett figure, but I don't want I don't need the slave one. Yeah, I, I want the yeah. slave think... one and ITT. Like I think the slave one looks good from this. Like the shaping, the proportions are very well done, but yeah, obviously it's not. It's I just not don't good. care for an undersized slave one. Yeah, I don't need oh, it. Oh, and I want the gauntlet. Yeah, I want all of it. Yeah, the gauntlet, the. Uh, Architans, that's all uh, first uh, buy on the first day. Bro, the the, the Architans build looks so bad. Yeah, it looks bad, but I want. I don't like the Architans at all. It looks like the 2009 render. If I actually cared about Mandalorian season two, I would buy it. But I like it because I like the Architans, but 
I wish uh, they. I mean, I like if I side. get it, the only reason that I would get it is to modify it into a Clone Wars Architins. <laughs> yeah. like well, the Imperial the Architins is way superior. Yeah, I like. No, it's it. not. It's the same. Remember? Wait, remember in Star Wars Rebels when the ghosts flew through the Architins? What? When it was on Geonosis. How do I not remember that? It's like Truth? when they're coming out of the giant catacomb and then they fly like through the two prongs in the front and then the and then oh. the poison canisters fall out. Dude, I have such a bad memory of arcs. I mean, I have you watched it twice or once? Yeah, I think I have. I, I remember I had it on as a recording yeah. on my old TV, so I used to watch it a lot. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I've only I have the once. Rebels DVDs. I have I have the Clone Wars season one and two DVDs and they're super cool. They come with like, like a little book inside of them that has a bunch of the concept art and they're super cool. I need the Clone Wars on DVDs. I only have the one and two and three and four. Dude, but the, the only ones that came obsolete. with like the cool, the only ones that came with the cool stuff like the art book were the one and two. Like DVDs are not really a thing anymore to be honest. Like. Streaming has I watch them at my dad's house because he doesn't have like a like a normal TV. Yeah, like do you guys even? For one of my TVRs? one of my one of my earliest memories is is me watching the the Clone Wars Ryloth episode with Commander Cody. Two thousand eight. Yeah. Dude, I watched like I barely watched Clone Wars. I watched the movie when it came out in theaters and. Um, I like w watched a couple episodes in the morning on Cartoon Network when it when it came out. I watched I watched pretty much every episode when it came out except for season six, and I remember being so sad that that uh, that that Clone Wars was canceled. And then then at the beginning when Rebels came out, I I hated it because I thought it was replacing Clone Wars. <laughs> I mean, it basically did replace it. Yeah. Did it like get cancelled because it wasn't doing well or I don't know why? I think it was just cause, tis, cause, cause Disney bought it. Oh yeah. Would you, do you think that you would like Star Wars more right now if, if it was if it wasn't under Disney? If it wasn't under Disney it probably would have been like the entire thing would have been cancelled. If it wasn't yeah, Disney like, it wouldn't have either. this many content. Yeah. This much content. Because they got the, the biggest budget ever. Um, welcome, Panayotis Luca. Welcome. Uh, stickers time. How, how many stickers does that set have? Is it is it a good uh, sticker 30. to print ratio? Only so that's nine. No, only eleven. That's that's not too bad. Look at a small sticker sheet. Wait, let me let me switch to the stream. Just a couple. Uh, three for the interiors. Couple uh, two by twos, and a big round one. That that's a good one. That's a good amount. I, I don't really get mad at stickers. I think they're fun to apply. Yeah. I don't like stickers them. Are they, I don't like kinda. them when they cross gaps. Yeah. But I don't think they do that that much anymore. I I always uh, use a brick brick separator to apply them. Like I'm doing right now. What do you think the, the best set that you own is? Uh, UCS ISC, but that's not really a play set. And other than that, uh, the gunship. The gunship is actual mock worthy. 
I I think that I really like the the droid gunship and the the tie striker. Yeah, the the latest I droid gunship is more quirky as well. I think yeah. the ship in a bottle is a cool set. I like the Sith mosaic. Uh, and then like for place, uh, probably like the Rogue One Y wing. Oh yeah. Bro, the Rogue One sets were goaded. The Rogue One sets were amazing. Yep. And um, was it my Dark Age? Yeehaw. I had, I think I had all of them aside from the. Actually, I think I had all of them. Hats? No, actually, I didn't have Krennic Shuttle. Half or hat? Uh, had. I had all of them except for Krennic Shuttle. So you sold them. No, I, I I still have them. Oh okay. Except for except for the 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 little tank is is destroyed now. Oh, I thought you said hat like you sold them. I had the ATSC, the Y wing, the and, and probably another one that I'm forgetting. Um, I have never sold a Lego set. Yeah, me neither. But I'm gonna I'm gonna sell the Statue of Liberty once it retires. <laughs> okay. I got it. I got it for Christmas, but I don't, I don't I don't really like architecture sets, so I'm just gonna sell it. Yeah. The I Statue could... of Liberty is pretty cool, except for the face. I should probably yeah. just sell, sell all my promos I don't need them. Yeah. I also have like the Yoda's lightsaber. I don't need that. But I don't that, get why that... people would want like 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 wanted Lego to make lightsaber sets. The only it's lightsaber that's boring. iconic enough for that is probably like the the main blue one, yeah. for Kylo Ren. I definitely think they should not make lightsabers. I think the helmets are cool though. Yeah, but helmets, they, you know, they have attributes. They they have iconic things, but lightsaber are just just a long tube thing. They, they're not yeah. too special. Like you can't like most people can't even tell what it is. I like the helmet sets, but I would I would much rather get play sets. The two wings I wish they just released play sets at the helmets at, at the same time as they release play sets. Yeah, I wonder that, compared that to sense. like to previous years how many how many less play sets we have. Probably not that many because Lego's making more sets than they used to. How many did they used to make? I'm getting a bunch. Uh... Like, it's a year. But uh, I think they they had a hundred or something, eighteen plus sets planned for this year. A hundred? Yeah. Something like, like across all themes. Yeah. That's a that's a lot. Mm -hmm. Something around that number. Like they're definitely making the most sets right now. A yeah, donut bees. Build swap. Yeah, I wish Drax was in this set. I don't want to pay 30 for that thing. Drax is in this set. He's hidden. He's standing so still you can't see him. Do you, do you like Infinity Game? I mean, Infinity War better or Endgame? Uh, Infinity, Infinity War. War. Yeah. Yeah, Infinity War's the best Marvel movie. But that doesn't make Endgame bad or, or worse. It's just a little better. Yeah, Endgame is good. just way too long. Mm, I like the long, long. Yeah, I like it, but yeah. but like my dad couldn't get through all of it. Yeah, it was hard for my parents to be focused the whole time. I still think like Captain America: Winter Soldier is the best of the Marvel movies, but Infinity War's up there. I don't think Winter Soldier is the best, in my opinion. Like, not a lot I don't of think it's even happens. in my top ten. Yeah, me neither. I Winter Soldier is amazing. I don't think a l not a lot of stuff happens in that movie. Like, there's cool scenes, but because it uh, it, it ends with an open ending as well. So, like, uh, what what's the ending of Winter Soldier? And I keep forgetting. It's when it's when. He's like on the on the, the I think it was a helicarrier. 
And then he like yeah, they're on the water. hover carrier, and, and yeah, then Bucky saves him. Like it ends with something like a cliffhanger. Kind of. Civil War is also pretty good. Yeah. Civil War is alright. I also like the, the Spider-Man ones. Yeah, I'm, I want to watch Far From Home again. And also Spider-Man like Homecoming is great. Far From Home. Yeah, I like, I like Homecoming more than Far From Home. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But I still like Homecoming. It's a fun adventure movie. Like, like uh, in Europe and stuff. Wait, wait, wait. Do do schools actually have like those field trips where you like go on a plane? Yeah, I went to I went to Barcelona. In my school, like we go on actual trips to other countries. I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah, it's 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 all right if you do the right things. If you're not, because we just walked for hours. So boring. If if you don't do it, then you just get to stay home. I mean, you could just say you're sick and then get a doctor and uh, ticket thing. No, but... just do that. Hmm. I'm just gonna do that when I go when I have to go, yeah. or if I have to go. All the school film trips are so boring. Like you're but supposed at my to school, go, but we used to have like actually good field trips, like where we go to like like a fun museum or something. But we don't. But we barely even have them. And then when when we do, they're just like to, like to like pick up trash or something. What? Pick yeah, they have trash. us pick up trash when we go to field trips. Oh my god. Like at parks. That's so dumb. Yeah. Um, is the set holding up to a ten? Yes, it is. It's already bigger than I thought. Heavier. It's actually how, how big is it so far? Okay. Uh. Pff. Because my forearm to my fingers. Uh, let's see what I can compare it with. Um, is it as big as like the playset Falcons? Um, it's already like wi wider than the Falcon. And the full wings are not on top of it. Um, let's see, it's as heavy as. Heavier than the AT-80. Would you would you ever buy the UCS Falcon? If I lived alone, yes. I wouldn't. I, don't, I just don't think that. I like the Falcon, but it's just like not. It's it's not. It's not like the coolest ship ever. I yeah. think if the Star Destroyer had an interior, I'd rather buy that. I I think the Ghost is a cooler design than the Falcon. Yeah, especially since I it has, feel like, like those, both are kind cool of terrain. boring. Like the the Falcon is just a circle with three prongs, yeah. Yeah. and then like the ghost is. And it doesn't even look like it could go fast. Diamond, exactly. Yeah, that it doesn't make sense for that to be the fastest ship. <laughs> like what? Uh, like when when I was little, I had like the the playset Falcon, and I and when I was playing it, I wouldn't even like maneuver it crazy because it looked so like not aerodynamic. Flying dish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Back eight. Have you seen those like drones that look like Star Wars ships? The like X-wing drone or? Yeah. I like think a... I saw a snow speeder one, like somewhere yeah, on cool. YouTube. Get, oh yeah, I saw that video. Like a sn like the video where they like make an AT-AT and go yeah, through the lakes. Yeah. I think I saw that. I'm not into drones and stuff. Yeah, yeah me but neither, but it'd drones, be just cool to have a Star Wars one. Drones just like look look scary to I feel like them. I'd use it I feel like I'd use it once and then never yeah. touch it. That's the same thing with like a steering wheel to you know play racing games or a VR headset. Well like. I don't even get why like my mom knows I like Lego and like all my family do but they never get me Lego for Christmas and then I only yeah, use like the stuff that they get me like once and then they're like bro why don't you use what I got you? Like I got w like one aunt that always bought me Lego sets like during my dark age I got the uh, Takodano set I got the Naboo droid battle pack kind of thing 
and they got me like sets like those. Pretty cool. Like there's some sets that I got during my Dark Age, which is the Age of Ultron uh, Hulkbuster. I got the um, droids uh, escape pods and home, oh, the homecoming wait, the, the, sets. The, the newer one or the 2011 one? The newer one. Oh, okay. And also the homey co homecoming van is also cool. It had like Spider-Man. I had the Vulture and Iron Man. I really like the Iron Man. Man suit from Homecoming yeah. with the Cut silver. That, that's the, the remote control one. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I can't believe they paid eight million to Robert Downey Jr. for eight minutes or something like that. Oh, he did, he's. I heard that he's like he he like doesn't do many movies now. Yeah. Because he, he doesn't need he to. Prices so much. Yeah, he's too expensive. It, that's why I, I. That's my. F the first thing I thought when people say what he, uh, they would like him as strong. Like, you, they don't have enough money for him. Yeah. Like, all, even if it's Disney, it would just be too, uh, too big part of their budget. Because, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I was so disappointed by Mandalorian C uh, two, set design. Like, come on, you have such a big budget. Like, they got a bigger budget than Game Especially of Thrones. Especially with Typhon. They got a, yeah, they got a bigger budget than Game of Thrones per episode. And they, they just make some boring Earth-like planets. Or they just went to California yeah. and they put a couple rocks on a hill. Just, like, just yeah, make some like, alien planets. Yeah, and like, the CGI was so bad. Yeah, compared like... Compared to Rogue One, which came out... Yeah. Literally, four some or five YouTubers... Years some YouTubers made it better in 24 hours. So, how can a, dis like, a professional Disney team not do this? For Mando, Mando Season 2 just seems so lazy, and it, like, it's not, like, they don't, like, yeah. love what they're making. But they got, they got the biggest praise. Yeah. Yeah. But th Mando Season 1 was so good, and then, mm -hmm. in comparison, Season 2 was just so bad. Just so lazy. I, mean, I feel like season one only had like six out of the eight episodes that were actually good. Like so, like the Jawa episode and then the Prison Break episode just felt felt so filler. I really like the Jawa episode. I don't know, like it's okay, but it could have just been part of the first episode. Wait, was that season one? Yeah. Yeah, the one where he climbs a sand crawler. Oh yeah. Like that scene was so good, but it felt so filler. And um, it could have just been shortened. Wait, 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 was that one the, the one episode? with Quill? Yeah. I think that I think that works because Quill is a big part of the story in season one. I don't know, but I feel like that could have just been put with episode three or episode one. I don't know. I still like it. No, it's it, it's all right. Like I like I watching any Star Wars content, but I'm not like the biggest fan of the new content that's coming up. Yeah, me too. Like, I'll watch anything. Bro, I try so hard to be excited for Bad Batch, but they just yeah. keep disappointing me more and more every week. Oh my god. Bad Batch last night was so bland, yeah. and it just felt like an episode of Clone Wars, which... They're like... I, I like, I like episodes. even, like, the filler Clone Wars episodes more than, like, that episode. Yeah, man. So, Maybe. Like, I, I, take, I, don't... I take the Gungan General episode over that one. Bombad Jedi is... Yeah, I take Bombad Jedi over that one. Yeah, definitely. Like, come on, like, he got so... They had so many opportunities to do this right, and then... Like, they, episode bro, the one... The story in one through, episodes 1 through 3 was so good and interesting. I don't get why they threw it all away for this garbage filler stuff. I know, and like... I, I just felt so it felt so weird that they put Saul Guerrero in. Like, they're putting him in everything. Yeah, and we, we got all the rights to call this filler. I mean, like... You, like move on with the story. Like we don't need to see. Like, they could have just replaced Roth if it was and just Trace one episode, with anybody be else, bad. and it would have been the exact yeah. same. Yeah, and if it was someone new, then it could be like actual, like mysterious, interest. Yeah. But we, we know like, well, like literally everything. Their mystery that contact is their mystery salt contact is gonna be Ahsoka or Rex, and just another returning oh. character. I don't even care if we see Ahsoka. I, I don't. I don't, yeah. I don't even want to see more from No, them. I'm going to be so Rex is my favorite if Ahsoka character, shows up but... again. Yeah, man. 
Rex w would make sense if they like help him go to Celos or whatever. But like, if a Ahsoka shows up, it's just gonna feel like filling. I feel like it's just gonna happen, dude. Like, I, I feel like they're just marketing as Ahsoka as being like the new face of Star Wars or yeah, whatever. For sure. Like, they have this whole section on Disney Plus about the, yeah, like, Ahsoka the essential, essential Ahsoka episodes. episodes. Yeah, the thing is, yeah. there is just stay Filoni. I mean, he's making this happen. Like, he's just too Bro, I don't get why people Ahsoka. are happy about him getting promoted to like the executive director or whatever. I don't care. I know it's so like it 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 it, it said like uh he's now like the lead creative director and I, when I saw that I said okay he's the main creative dr director now maybe he can create some new characters mm -hmm. and I have yet to see that happen. Bro, he's only created one new character for Bad Batch, but the Admiral Rampart guy and Omega, so he's created two, I think. I don't know. Admiral Rampart hasn't even done anything in the show except for well, say he's a only few been words. in the show for like two minutes. Yeah, I'm not sure why they made a Black Series figure of him at all. That makes no sense. Wait, which like, one? Like even a Tarkin, Admiral Rampart. The one, he's the, the one hologram. Who started the squad. Wait, there's the a Black squad. Series of that. Yeah, yeah they a made black a Black Series, series figure of him. Bro, I really want to get the and Black they... Series Coruscant guard. He looks so cool. Wait, the oh, the shock trooper new with the pauldron. Yeah, there's the new one. It's on the new uh, Camino Trooper mold. I, I yeah, I kind of want those. that one. The one with the pauldron. If I like, yeah, the, that clone, one. the Clone Wars, the clones are for Black Series are really hard to find. Wait, yeah, especially, and then, like, oh, the new Clone Wars wave is when I went to Target, especially since it's a Target exclusive, bro. Target sucks at doing exclusives. Like, Target I walked sucks in there at and like. The only thing that they had, like, in their entire Star Wars section was just one clone pilot hawk. And there were, like, two other collectors who were, like, walking down the hall, so I had to, like, run in front of them to grab it. I've been to, like, two Targets since those figs came out, and I, and, like, I only, like, I saw a couple, like, I saw a ton of grief cargas, and then some of the ar the archive Hans and Luke's. Bro, grief Karga is such a filler figure. That figure sucks. It's a good figure, but it's just like so. I'm not sure. It I don't is like super the tall. It's like it's like taller than Mando. In his the arm. face mold also looks weird. I don't know. A bunch of their faces look too shiny, but I'm fine with. It. No, like the maybe it was the paint apps on the one that I saw. Like it looked off. I'm not sure if it was the sculptor. So on, my, on my Camino paint trooper, apps. like the like the you know the lines on the chin. Yeah. Yeah, they're like all like super like shifted down. I really want like, the Camino Trooper. I haven't been able to find him. Bro, he looks so cool. Uh, that that's got that one. Good thing. But that's an old, yeah. older one already, right? It's yeah, I think so. I know. That's not... His articulation I'm... is so good. I don't know if they make that one still. Yeah, I want the uh, what's it called? I really want the hover tank pilot and then Buskin, and then I can have that full wave. I just, I just want the the. The, the other w ones from the Clone Wars wave, and I kind of want a new Captain Rex since they're re-releasing him. Because my old one, I found him for like $2 at Ross, and I was like, oh my god, what a steal. And then I brought him home, and then I opened it, and then his arm fell off. What? How? Oh. Yeah, so I just I super glue it, and now it doesn't I want even the, move. I want the Cad Bane fig. Yeah, he's a cool one, but he's super hard to get now. I know. I also... I want them to do uh, the the sin instead of doing Echo and Hawk, they should have done play Phase One Cody and Rex in the packaging because Echo and Hawk didn't even come so out in the much original. Cooler. Yeah, and I had like broke that original Clone Wars Echo figure. I mean, I mean Cody figure that came in the original packaging. He's like my favorite like toy ever, and it would have been so cool to get a, a, a new one. The original Clone Wars figs were three point seven five inches, right? Or were they yeah. six? Okay. No, they're three point seven five. Yeah, yeah, they even came. They even made like like really cool vehicles. Like they made like the the Republic fighter tank, and they made like an AAT. They even made I like a I, super huge like. I'm, turbo I think tank. I might have had a uh, ATRT if they made yeah, one. I had I'm an AT. Sure. Yeah, they yeah, made they made I a bunch. They made a Geonosis one and the 501st one, and I'm pretty sure some other one. I don't know. Yeah, I think I had a blue ATRT from like the old Clone Wars wave. Yeah, that one also came with a tactical droid. That one was cool. I wish I got that one. 
I kind of want to get some of the old Clone Wars figs, but like, but bro, they're so expensive now. Like one I of know, the grunts is like ten bucks on eBay if if you can even find him for that. Dude, I got the and only one like, I got was it's in, like a super loosely jointed, uh, uh, just face Wait, I got, pilots. I gotta go to lunch. See you guys. It was fun talking. Yep. See you, dude. Okay. Yeah. After this bag, I'm also done. So I'm gonna have to do a two-part stream. But I don't think I don't even have, have viewers right now. Yeah, I'm not I'm not good at streaming, I think. It is what it is, so Okay, I'm also gonna have to go. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for fun stream. Rejoining.